Hello, hello, hello. Hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. If you can, then please let me know in the chat. Everything is all okie dokie. I'm gonna go and hop into the call real quick. Hey there, buddy. Yo. Yeah. Hey, all right, sweet. We are finally loud and clear for tonight's session, ladies and gents. And uh, we have a lot to talk about for tonight's session of the Pokepod World Podcast. My name, once again, is KG Prestige. As you heard just now in the background is my good buddy, TSS. And tonight, ladies and gents, we are going to be talking about a lot of things from the Nintendo presentation of the recently released uh, Animal Crossing Direct, the Nintendo Switch Online pricing, and the family plan and all that. We're also going to be talking about um, the Apple event that just recently aired earlier today. We also have Sora's inclusion in Smash, the recently released BDSP uh, information we just got as well. Just a, a shit ton of things, bro. A shit ton of things to talk about. And I feel like, thank the heavens, we don't have any form of some ridiculous episode to talk about tonight, man. Uh, you know mm. what I mean? Because it's just it's just going to be nothing but updates on trailers, on, on infos, on events and whatnot. The only thing I think we can talk about for, say, um, what you call it? For say, uh, I forgot, how do you pronounce it? Uh, for episodes, anime stuff like that, is gonna mainly be on the preview because we never actually talked about that the last time, which is good That's because it right. turns out we actually got a couple of more information about that upcoming episode. So I think it's gonna be fine to go and talk about that for tonight. What do you say, TSS? Yeah, let's do it. All right, then, ladies and gents, once again, let me introduce you all to another exciting session of the Pokepod World Podcast. And uh, tonight, we're going to be doing a couple of fun things in this session. In fact, you might actually be seeing a very particular thing also uh, in the background as well within the session. I know, right? The ruby rig is actually beautiful. In fact, it's such a simplistic thing. So allow me to explain, because I think we talked about this in... Uh, in last week's session, did we not? Mm. So well, I kind of handed it. Yeah. I think it was last week's session, or if it was, uh, it was in one of the events that we had, where I was talking with Kay, and we were talking about some cute little like PNG things. So I discovered recently, and there was two things I discovered. One, there's actually a website that you can tie into Discord, so that I can have, for example, UTSS and your character actually interact in the background. But literally, yeah. like a couple of minutes before, um, before we got into tonight's session, I also discovered something else recently. It is called mm. a V Do Two Mini. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is a brand new application that just came out, like maybe two weeks ago or maybe a month ago. I think uh, that mm -hmm. actually applies uh, PNG files and have them do things like what you're seeing right now, where they interact with, say. Uh, you talking at this particular moment mm -hmm. or not. And it also bounces too. Or it can even do blinking while you're in the middle of a conversation right now. So I could just stay quiet in the time being and you guys can see the reaction just happen and unfold on screen. Nice. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's such a cute thing. I love it, man. I've always wanted to figure out, like, what would be a great way to tie Ruby into doing these kind of things? Because I know I do want to do the VTubing thing eventually, but there has to be a genuine kind of, like, you know, gr uh, just a gradual incline to that. What was the name of it, KG? Uh, I'll put it right now on the chat. It is titled, uh, and I'll write it here for you guys, because I don't know how you're actually supposed to pronounce it. But I think it's called Vito Tube uh, Mini, and I'll put it right here for you guys in chat. Danny DeVito Tube, <laughs> like an entry level for Vito. Yeah, of course. the The thing is with this as well, you're also going to need uh, PNG files of the characters, and thankfully, Doodlelots has actually made these a long time ago. And I've always wanted to kind of find some, uh, kind of find some ways that I could incorporate it into the actual. Uh, into the actual sessions that we do have on stream, besides the animated GIF you guys see every now and then. 
So mm. I thought having a responsive Ruby now in the background whenever I talk and also having it blink every now and then actually is kind of appropriate. So I do find it nice. I'm also going to try to see if I can actually, because I did require you guys to actually be on call um, for mm. me to actually yeah. apply you guys into the Discord yeah. settings and actually have your avatars also respond too. Uh, but yeah. for now, small steps, small steps, <laughs> at least on this side of mm. things. So yeah, ladies and gents, uh, meet your new PNG tuber over here with Ruby. So there you go, chat. And that's the and that is indeed the site uh, you can use to go and download it for yourself if you like to get your hands on it and uh, try it out for yourself. Once again, you need to go and apply your own uh, set of images that you can use for yourself and uh, see how it works. They have a lot of well, not a lot I should say, but they have quite a couple of settings in there that actually makes it. Uh, very interactive. Like, for example, I can go to it right now. In fact, let me take care of it at this particular moment where I can actually go to it and actually have it, uh, as you just saw, respond to whenever I'm actually uh, talking or just remove mm. the bounce entirely whenever I stop talking. And uh, you'll just see the character move like that. But I do like it that I can, uh, ha I have the option to make it either bounce or make it something like this where... Uh, for example, let me see if I can actually get this working properly. There we go. Where you can have the character just kind of vibe in the background as we're just talking. Like, you'll just see it gradually move up and down. Yeah. And it, it looks great, too. It, it looks super responsive, bro. I love this sort of shit. So, mm -hmm. uh, it's such a simple thing, but, like, it really goes a long way. So, once again, ladies and gents, if you want to go and look into it, it's Vito Tube Mini. Uh, once again, Donnie provided the link earlier ago. They have various forms of downloads for it, not just simply for, uh, say, the you know traditional Windows. They also have it for Mac OS. They also have it for Linux too, which is actually one of the shockers there as well. And now it would say that you could uh, pay $5 if you want to, or you could simply just say, no, thanks, just take me to the downloads. I will admit I did pay for it because I do want to support things like these. Because if things like these can be created, imagine what else could come out from this person who created the mini VTube. So, yeah, it, it, you can set up your microphone easily, add motion to your avatar by having them jump or shake as they're talking. You can even switch between avatar states as well. Like there are other settings I can work with here. If I like use hotkeys, for example, I could like click the number two and I can change Ruby's emotion to be like angry Ruby to fit the mood of what we're talking about in just mm. a quick and responsive way without having to, uh, without having to kind of go to the settings and just straight up having to switch every single image. Like they have different, uh, states that you can play around with and different hotkeys you can use to, uh, to work with that. So once again, very cool thing. R really, really, it is honestly something I love a lot and I appreciate them for going out of their way to, 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 to do something some something as simplistic as this but it's I, it's something I love and appreciate so much and I hope you guys in the chat will also get to enjoy more of the of the interactive Ruby in the background too so yeah that's a nice little start I guess for tonight's session mm. uh, anything else I'm forgetting I don't think so though I think we're good yeah I think we're good yeah uh, I, I also keep letting you people know just in advance uh, the reason why I turn off the thing is only just because of the fact that I kind of want to just play with the settings because unfortunately the settings will still pop up on screen if I have Ruby, uh, if I if I transition to the window. So I always have to turn yeah. off the PNG so you guys don't see the settings itself. Uh, it's nothing yeah. crazy per se, but I just don't want to ruin the quote unquote immersion. immersion. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, immersion. Yeah. <laughs> also, they have a custom mascot in the VTubing app as well, uh, mm. who is called, and I kid you not, Tube the Deer. Uh, it is a day slash dumb and is designed by an artist under the name of Bella. And they're simply used as a way to kind of be as an example as to how you can play around with the tools. It's it's very simple. It really is. It's something that anybody can get their hands on and immediately play around with it. And uh, I mm -hmm. hope people take this opportunity to try it out. Like, really, PNG, like PNG tubing shouldn't be messed around with like it really is something remarkable man don't don't like sleep on it for real it, it's something mm. that i do believe with with programs like these really does make uh png tubing something so remarkable and something to admire and enjoy so much so yeah that's just gonna be my take on it i probably should make ruby a little bit bigger but i'll just keep him as is for now just because mm. I just literally started this thing. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you could, you could, uh, you could dumb animated PNG. I think, yeah, because I believe GIFs and animated PNGs are supported. Call them, so theor- call them, call them animated uh, PNGs. Yeah, animated PNGs. They are actually supported with the usual PNGs, JPEGs, and BMPs as well. So this is supposed to be a soon-to-be app suite meant to make it easier to create 2D virtual avatars. Uh, so you can e- they even have a Patreon as well where you can follow them over at all... M we I am not sure how you pronounce it, but basically you get uh, early access to the projects and a bunch of other things as well. So if you ever want to go and enjoy that sort of stuff, mm-hmm. there you go, buddy. So all right then, what do you say, TSS? Shall we get ourselves ready for tonight's session of the Pokepot Now that we got the intros and shenanigans out of the way, let's go because there's a lot of crap. Uh, there's a lot of crap to talk about, and there's a lot of thing to rant, a lot of stuff to rant about. So I gonna... know, man. It is gonna be insane. Oh, hey, look who it is, Tyrone, out here raiding with a party of twelve. Absolutely appreciate it, Tyrone. Doesn't. We'll hope to see you soon in the call because we're gonna have a shit ton of things to talk about, buddy. So we'll hope to see you then. Uh, so without further ado, TSS, let us begin. So I'm going to just write down the shenanigans that we are going to need to talk about for tonight. In fact, I'll actually post it in the in the Pokepod channel itself because we have so many things to discuss. I'm not even sure. Like even right now, I wrote it in literally on Twitter just to kind of get an idea as to what we're going to be talking about. Like I mentioned, we're going to talk quickly and briefly about Sora's inclusion in Smash Brothers, the Animal Crossing Direct that came out last week, the Nintendo Switch Online pricing, as well as the things that are coming along with it, uh, the Apple event that it has just occurred earlier today, the Pokemon Bl- Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl updates that we had just received a week ago, which is a very controversial take, which is not really surprising because every week there's always something controversial to talk about with Pokemon, is there not? <laughs> so, indeed. And uh, so much more. So, let us get into it. First of all, Tyron, how was your stream? Oh, it was cool. Ah, sweet. Glad to hear, man. Hope you're, yeah. I hope everything was and, great. And thank you for being part of a stream that you needed to be in a paywall for. Wait, what? Um, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? No, no, it's just nothing funny. Just don't worry about it. Oh. Uh, but first yeah, of all, we got to use Sora for like 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah, because you had to fight against the server, I assume, right? Or was the server uh, not yeah. bad at all? It was bad, but I somehow weaved my way in, so it was okay. <laughs> oh, okay, so you got a chance to play Sora for a little bit. I actually just downloaded Sora just now on the side here, so I got him. Yeah. Uh, He's... Ah, it's hard to explain. I've never seen a character that's so weird, and he's he's broken in some sense, but he's also weird in other senses. Is he like the next Bayonetta of Smash 4? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. That, well, that's the best well, way to no, say no, it. Oh, no, 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 let me correct that. Let me correct that. There's one combo he has that's like the Bayonetta from Smash 4. I'm assuming Sonic, it's that B-side. It's Sonic Drive, <laughs> it's Sonic Drive. Yes. yeah. Sonic Drive, yeah, Sonic Drive's busted. But everything else about him seems fairly neutral. I don't like the fact that you can't shuffle between his spells. That pisses me off. I don't like that. I think that was intentional design wise. I don't know why. I feel like they could have I feel like they could have pulled a dragon quest and just had you pick the spells like that. I mean, you can do that in Kingdom Hearts. Like the game. Yeah. Why can't you do it here? All right. Well, since we're talking about Sora, let's just briefly talk about him and uh, and just quickly give our impressions on just the overall finale of Smash Brothers. Why don't we? Because this is the final update, the final major update to be exact. And it is kind of see uh, sad to see um, this character finally be the one to wrap up Smash Brothers as a whole and potentially Sakurai as a whole as well. Um, so... Yeah, I, I'm very happy for Sakurai, his development team. Once again, hashtag thank you, Sakurai, for all the love and support you've given to this game, as well as it being a dedication to to Awada's legacy as well. Uh, there's just so much that this title has has just brought to the table, and I'm so excited to try out Sora when I get the chance. Just the fact that we finally are in that day, the day that he just came out literally an hour ago before the pod had begun, it's incredible to think that this is even a reality that we exist in right now. But yeah, it's crazy. I love it. I was literally, I was like, I was using him against media, and we were fighting on the. Uh, Hulk. We were fight, We were no. Well, it's picked, my arena is picked at random. Mm. So we were fighting on like the Pokemon Kalos League Stadium, 
And I was uh, the song I was playing in the background was uh, Steven, Steven Stone's theme. Yeah. And I'm like, this is so weird. This is, <laughs> it's fucking weird. Sora's a Pokemon. Sora. <laughs> right. Just hear Sora in a Pokemon. Like, it's weird. <laughs> it's so surreal. That's what I'm saying. I I love all of this, man. I really do. I'm very happy that we get to find ourselves in this kind of position. So, yeah, overall, very much excited to see. Yeah, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing back. a big stream tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, just to follow up on that, I mean, um, I'm pretty sure, obviously, we're going to have a big stream tomorrow with Smash Brothers because, obviously, Sora's out and everybody wants to, and their mom wants to use them. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was interesting. Uh, obviously, I used Sora in its Valor form because Kingdom Hearts 2. And somebody just pointed this out. If Sora's holding two items, um, he'll hold the other one. Like, if he's holding a sword or something, he'll hold the other one like he does in Valor form. Because in Valor form, he dual wields. Mm. So, I, I think that's pretty cool. I, I like that attention to detail. That's that's pretty neat. I like that. Mm. Um, other than that, yeah, he's he, he, he's different. He, he's definitely different. I... I I'm liking where this is going with him. Um, I can see a lot of people probably try him out. I just hope that, like, I hope that he doesn't become a character that falls into obscurity like most DLC characters that come out. Just simply because, you know, that's the pattern with Smash Brothers is that like, people are hyped for the day of, and then afterwards it's just nothing. Like, I'm sure the amount of Pyra and Mithra players that exist now are, are going to drop to, like, two. Hmm. Just because, you know, new character, new toy, I don't want to play with old toy anymore. That's kind of the, the vibe I'm almost getting. It's like, I mm -hmm. hope that doesn't end up becoming the theme. But mm -hmm. overall, yeah, he's different. Yeah, but hey, that's fine, you know? Yeah. Sometimes it's okay to have a little bit of difference every now and then. All yeah, right, yeah. so that's going to be it for our little mini discussion on Sora. Once again, we had a big discussion on it last week, if you guys haven't had a chance to see yeah. that. Uh, so mm -hmm. we don't need to go that far into it. Just kind of elaborate further on the fact that he's here. He's here. Yeah. We can see Sora fight against Pac-Man and Yoshi. And zero and minus five points to the guy who wanted who wanted to freaking have the servers update early. Oh, oh, you mean the hashtag release Sora early? <laughs> I thought that... No, no. Okay, just to explain... Uh, that was actually a joke that was inspired by another joke that also was like released Smash early from like a week or two ago. That this dude decided to follow up on it by making an additional joke on top of it by saying, yo, just release him a few hours early. But nobody caught on to the fact that that was actually meant to be a joke and everybody thought that he was legitimate for a bit. Yeah, yeah. that's the problem. Yeah, it's, the, hard to, the it's hard to tell that. But still, though, regardless... It's, it's hilarious. So that's why I retweeted it because I just found that shit so hilarious when I saw it. <laughs> yeah, the problem the problem is people these days don't know how to emote using text. Yeah, it's hard yeah. to. I have to do the slash SRS or slash JK or whatever the hell it is nowadays that these cool kids say just to kind of yeah. point, prove a point. I use, I, I use oh, old well. school emoticons to get my point and it works. <laughs> oh, uh, there's also a, sp a funny little video. Uh... It shows Kazuya grabbing Sora and dunking him into this beach water. But when he does, it shows the opening to Kingdom Hearts 2 where he falls in the water. <laughs> Wait, and you walk. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's literally that. And I love it. Uh, the other one that I loved was I'll like... Send it to you. Uh, well, no. Well, well, wait a minute. Then, well, anyway, wouldn't, wouldn't it be Sanctuary? No, no, no. It, they... No, because it's... They, they, no, they, the they, put, they put simple... Yeah, but they put in a simple and clean. Yeah, version. they took yeah, the they, sanctuary they, clip, but they put in the simple and clean one, which actually is more funnier, honestly, because the other one would have been like, oh, and I don't think it would have hit the joke that well. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you're right and wrong. You're right. Sanctuary is the song they were supposed to use. But in the trailer for the game, the commercial, they played simple and clean. Which is dumb, but that it exists. But hey, listen, yeah. makes the joke funnier. I will admit, though, my favorite Sora diving meme is the one where somebody's like, I hate you, Pac-Man. And then just shove his ass into the water. And then when you walk away, it's yeah. so great. I love all of these jokes, man. Yeah. All right. But, uh, let's get into our topics that we have. Okay. Like I stated before, we have quite a lot to discuss. Uh, given oh, that boy. the Apple event is one of the later ones, we'll save that for just a wee bit. Because let's try to go in order in regards to some of the things that had came out. Why don't we? So mm. kicking things off, we are going to now finish off the Sora discussion and get into the Animal Crossing Direct slash presentation alongside the Nintendo Switch Online pricing revelation. 
family plan discussions and all that jazz because oh, boy there was a lot of big takes on it uh and also most importantly and this is the sad part the, it kind of ruined and soured the animal crossing direct bro uh-huh. for a lot of people Let's get into the Animal Crossing bit first, because that's the most heartwarming bit. So, the final major update that's going to be coming out for Animal Crossing version 2.0 is going to be including a insane, and I repeat, insane amount of quality of life updates, inclusions, and so much more. There is an absolute bombshell of just crazy ass things that they just decided to say hold on we're gonna we're gonna go and put all of this here for you guys to enjoy so let me go and um let me go and actually set this up for the folks out here so they can actually uh, see it a little bit better for themselves uh so let's begin by talking about the presentation once again so let's go to the other channel now there we go all right so let's begin so what exactly do we have to talk about Well, for starters, they actually showed off a couple of things. Uh, Brewster, who is known for making a lot of coffee-related content uh, within the world of Animal Crossing. This is not something that has already existed uh, in past Animal Crossing games, but now is finally coming to Nintendo Switch in Animal Crossing New Horizons. And once again, reminded to folks, this is all a free update. All of the content that you're about to see right now is all free for you guys. You don't have to pay a single dime. However, there will be something we'll have to discuss in a little bit at a later time in regards to some of the new content slash DLC. So as you can see right there, there's a Brewster Cup coffee. We're about to go and see some of the new things in store. It's just pretty much saying, hey, you you want coffee? You can finally get coffee here. And you can actually go and have some discussions with some of the people using the Amiibo cards, have them be brought over into the coffee shop so that they can also interact with you there as well. It's just kind of making things feel more relaxing and soothing. And I mean, to be fair, that's what Animal Crossing is all about, isn't it? Mm. Uh, Alongside that, though, you can also interact and have coffee with friends as well online. So just another small detail there. Soon after, we learned that our buddy, Cap'n, who was actually in past games, finally making a return here. And he's going to bring you to some faraway islands that include items that you could not find anywhere else. In the game, so uh, while he's also giving you his uh, captain's boat tour, singing and all that, yada yada. So if you enjoy and appreciate that sort of stuff, you're gonna get a lot of it in this upcoming uh, in this upcoming update. So once again, new items, new quality of life updates with Harry finally coming in, building like this new area of a campsite where you can actually pay money to have people permanently be in this spot. So you can purchase rug, mysterious wallpapers, uh, haircuts, shoes, and all that jazz. You know, everything is going to become easily accessible. Something that was always difficult to do because of the fact that you had to always worry about um, what you call it. Always had to worry about what day these characters come in. But now that this is happening, you don't have to worry about that no more. You can now finally do it for uh, at any point at the day. Now. Don't worry about it just for fun. Yeah, you can still panic about it if you don't have version 2.0. <laughs> I don't know anything about Animal Crossing, but I know that this Totemare guy, the, the turtle. Yeah. I just saw a meme on Twitter where it's like they replaced the the letters at the bottom of the speech bubble and it just says, I live, bitches. I, I and, saw that one too as well. That one was great. Yeah. So, That's yeah. That's the only thing I know about him. Uh, the, yeah, the Animal Crossing, I, I, I need to get into that. Otherwise, like... You're going to be I, missing I, out when this update I wanna, comes out. I want to try it just to see what happens. <laughs> so, it's a fun game. It's a really addicting game. Depending on just your imagination, Tyrone, how far you're willing to commit into timing for this. Like, you have to put a lot of time in this game. A lot. And you don't have the glitches that we used to have back in the day when this game first came out where you're able to duplicate bells and everything. Yeah which I was able to do and unfortunately became a rich billionaire because of it. <laughs> so, uh, billions. yeah, billions and billions of dollars. I finally, billions and billions. I, I, I am, I am the 1% <laughs> chat. I have finally done it. Now you can also billions do other- and billions of $20. <laughs> <laughs> now, 
So you, then, then you too can you have go old gold escalator and shit. He yeah. never wants hundreds or fifties. He wants all his money in twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Millions and billions no. of twenty dollars. So no, other just, quality no, just, get, just get paid. Just get paid uh, two thousand dollars in ones. You know? Other updates, just to quickly breeze through them. Uh, you can finally cook. Uh, you can finally plant things such as tomatoes that you can use to craft your items. You can increase the amount of bridges you can create as well as stairs. You can also create new fencing to give more life to your city. You can finally use a handheld camera. I know that's kind of funny about that. But you can even have it for a tripod camera as well to take pictures with your cute little buddy friends that you see right there on screen. Amongst many, many other things as well. And most importantly, you can finally show off your your wave check chat <laughs> you you can finally have the wave check as the as the internet would always call it so I, I don't know why they call it that but there you go chat you can now get your certified wave check hairstyle going on there for you folks if you ever wanted that truly iconic moments uh after that you got some brand new emotes that you can work with uh brand new furniture all that stuff new feature quality of life updates gyroids coming in brand new ladder updates coming in all for free, available on November 5th of 2021. So just a couple nice. of weeks from now. Now, let's get to the final bit. There is DLC in this game that straight up, in my opinion, is just another new game on top of what already is a very heavy, heavy game. Now, many people might remember this from the Nintendo 3DS of Animal Crossing. Happy Home Designer. And it was a standalone game that wasn't really tied much to Animal Crossing New Leaf at the time. But it is a game where you are able to create these paradise locations for the villagers and just give them homes how you would like to see fit. Well, they're incorporating that into Animal Crossing New Horizons under the title of Animal Crossing New Horizons Happy Home Paradise. A paid DLC mm -hmm. event that you can go and create homes, just like I stated before. But now, specifically in New Horizons, you get some. You get to make money out of it. You get to create homes for people. You get to use that investment to purchase items that you can't collect anywhere else. And most importantly, the things she you learn. Tribute. Yes, she was paying tribute to Elton eighty four there. Boater hat. Go. <laughs> oh, nice. Um, but I was gonna oh. say as well. Another thing that's also worthy to know is that the things that you learn in this game DLC pack is available to also use in your regular island as well. So that means okay. everything you learned here, you can apply into the other game. So this is mm -hmm. the best thing about it that definitely beats a happy home designer from the 3DS because that was its own separate game and didn't really tie much into the 3DS game of New Leaf except for like some minor bits. But here, everything plays around with each other. So everything comes full circle in this one. And I absolutely appreciate that. So once again, paid DLC. And I guess we should finally get to the final bit as to why I saved the Nintendo Switch Online discussion for last. We got the pricing for it. Uh, which is at the very end over here. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Well, actually, not that far off. So twenty four ninety nine. If you would like twenty four dollars. <laughs> if you would like to buy Happy Home Paradise by itself, just as is. If you like to buy it as is, it's only going to cost you that much. However, this is the big shock here. Apparently, Animal Crossing Happy Home Paradise is also going to be applicable with the newly released Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pass, as that was revealed in this presentation to also be a part of it. So, that means you won't necessarily need to own the DLC. It's going to become a part of the service as long as you continue to stay in that membership plan. For $50... For 12 months, individual membership. And if you want to do a family membership, that'll cost you 80 bucks as well. So, <laughs> so there you go, chat. That's pretty much all the beefy things that are coming out. Also, we are finally getting some brand new Amiibo cards that you can see right here as well. Showing off a lot of the characters that we've seen in Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons. Plus some new characters in particular that have never been released in this and also, I see my boy Raymond uh, down there as well. I want to see if my girl here is well. Let me see. Is she here? There she is. A.K.A. Sheena over there. Best girl. Just saying right now. Best girl. Uh, so, 
Yep, this is the big discussion. So, what do you guys say? Let's get right into it. Nintendo Switch Online is going to be fifty dollars. It's going to include the Nintendo sixty four games, the Sega mm -hmm. Genesis games, and Happy Home Designer as Nintendo the DLC. Genesis with Genesis Dennis. Yeah, <laughs> when Nintendo Nintendo Genesis does what Genesis Dennis or something like that. Yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, that? not the cat KG. No, not the cat, buddy. I mean, the cat's kind of cute, too, but no, we're not going to talk about Rayman. I don't know how many people have remember the Rayman incident. That that was NFTs before NFTs were big. That, that Let's just put that into perspective. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so who wants to get into the beefy talk about the uh, Nintendo Switch stuff, then? Let, let's get into that first. Real fast, before we move over completely from Animal Crossing. Uh-huh. I heard that some of these characters, I don't know if they're the characters that are on screen now, but I heard that some of these Animal Crossing characters were a bit of dicks in the first game. Oh, no. All of them were. All oh, of them me. were. Not just me. one. All. Every single can I play one, the one of them. Where they're all, can I play the one where they're all dicks? That's funny. Yeah, where they straight up say you're, you dress ugly, you look ugly, you should kill yourself, you know, that shit. Yeah, ah. all, all of that was all of the characters you see now. And I don't know how people got... You can't it. afford a better home than this. Why are you even here? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in my presence? Get away from here. You have a mm. poor house. Okay. Should, yeah, pretty much. But oh, yeah, let's get into my, it. Oh, yeah. I think you answered this kind of, but like... Okay, if I get the Nintendo... Like, the expansion pack for online... What, what if I don't have Animal Crossing? Do I, am I just purchasing Happy Home Paradise for the shits and giggles at that point? You're, hoping, you're buying Happy mm. Home Paradise that you can't even play. And there there's the no fuck alternative. I paying You're paying only for the oh. Nintendo 64 and for the Sega Genesis. Okay. Stupid. There is no, no it's alternative, not. if I'm correct. Then I should be paying $35. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, this is going to be the first rebuttal of the evening. So let's so let's uh, let's go back in time, folks. So let's go back to 2010. So, 2010, Xbox Live Gold announced that they were going to be raising the price from $49.99 to $59.99. Mm -hmm. why, why is this important? Because game, Xbox Games for Gold did not come out until 2013. It took them three years to add games to the service. And people didn't uh, complain about that, that back then. Also, for the people that say, Oh, you're buying a DLC and it goes away after you, you get rid of the online shit? PS Plus does the same shit for DLC and games. So guess what? Once you stop paying for the service, that shit becomes deactivated. Okay? Until so, you reactivate. Just right. like what's going to happen. Now, now, do I, now, now, do I agree it's overpriced for what it is right now? Absolutely yes. But what Nintendo's doing here is they're, they're, they're doing this for promise. If you're gonna, if they're going to put more items in the service, they need to instill more confidence in the consumer to be worth the the investment. Now, also, unlike what what Microsoft tried to do earlier last year, or earlier this year, and force everybody to pay double for Xbox Live Gold to one hundred and twenty dollars. You don't have to buy the expansion pack. Nintendo is not taking away the lower end of the Nintendo Switch Online package. They're not forcing everybody to go to a $50 plan or an $80 plan. You still have a choice. So choice is good. So at PSN, you don't have that choice. You have to pay 60 bucks. Xbox Live Gold, you don't have a choice. You want to pay online? You still got to fucking pay $60. And there's no family plan either. And the thing is, when Nintendo Switch Online originally came out, it was limited to five devices. Now it's ten. So you could divide ten, ten divided by, you know, eight, div ten, eighty divided by ten, that's eight dollars. Also, if for the people that are complaining about fifty dollars a month, don't buy fucking coffee at Starbucks for one day and then you can afford it. Coffee's fifty okay. bucks? <laughs> Five dollars. Well, five dollars a, a yeah, day. Yeah, five dollars. That means you buy. Yeah, or, 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 or you know, you, you could you could skip the Wendy's chicken nuggets for a day. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the four my, for four. Yeah, my <laughs> only, I I don't give a shit. Like, in terms of paying the fifty dollars for the Nintendo sixty four games and the Genesis, that's fine because they're gonna add more games as time passes. So you're you're getting what you paid for. It's the Animal Crossing thing that feels like a like it sticks out yeah. like a sore thumb to me. 
Yeah. Only because I don't have Animal Crossing. So it feels like I bought something for no reason. <laughs> yeah, because you basically have a a product that you own but can't even use. Use! So, like, it's like, can I at least get reimbursed for the product that I'm not using? Like, it's weird. I, think I mean, that, I that, guess that's yay. The thing. I, look, here's, here's my take on it. Like, I do believe currently as it stands right now... I think the pricing is fine. However, at a later point, when they start incorporating more DLC content that could be available on Nintendo Switch Online, they should create an alternative, as in the the retro package and the whole package. The whole package being the DLC that's going to be releasing in future installments of other titles out there. And the retro only containing retro virtual console games like Nintendo 64, Genesis, and whatever else they want to include. I think things would be less taxing to people had we also just gotten the Game Boy as well in this we, collection, too. Let, let which they you, might add can, at a later point. We can, for Animal Cross, uh, Crossing players, they can still get the DLC without getting the, the expansion, right? Yes. That's correct. They can? Okay. So at least they have that option. I thought it was going to be locked in and Animal no. Crossing... Oh, that would have been fucked. No, no, if it, it's not no. locked to Nintendo Switch Online. It's sure. an alternative you can now, do. Now, to me, you still get the NES and the Super NES plus the 64 stuff anyway. So it, and you're going to get more 64 games as time passes, which is fine. I think it's just weird to have Animal Crossing, like, bundled in that. It's just, it just uh, feels it's, weird. I don't know if it's their way to get me to buy Animal Crossing. So that I can utilize this unused content that I technically paid fifty dollars for. Yeah, but it's just it's just weird. You know it's what should have so been weird. You know what should have been the best option they should have done. Uh-huh. They should have announced another DLC pack to this. And you know what would have been that other one? Mm-hmm. A Mario Kart Eight Deluxe package. Now, that would have been fine considering that Mario Kart at least still follows the line of what that is. And also Animal is Crossing one of the most a, popular titles yeah, on the Switch. Animal Crossing is a known, a very well-known IP, but I just don't think it meshes with the Nintendo 64 shit that's okay. going on right now. All right. I also want to I also want to rebuttal against uh, Red Ambassador's comments. Like we shouldn't be paying for online. The problem is when you don't pay for online, you have to deal with P2P, and P2P is the worst shit ever. Let's just put this into perspective. Back in the day, you used to be able to go and re- and get dedicated servers that could run mm-hmm. various games, such mm-hmm. as uh, Call of Duty Four, Battlefield, Bad Company Two, and whatever. And you had to pay an online. You had to pay for a server if you wanted to run your own stuff. Mm-hmm. So, it, yeah, of course, of course, yeah. People don't want to pay for online. But then again, though, you have to remember that GameSpot. Uh, sorry, GameSpot owned the servers originally for Nintendo, and that's why they were sponsored. So they had their bandwidth. We're talking about Nintendo servers now. Yeah, Nintendo servers are probably shit right now because they don't have the infrastructure. Microsoft has the infrastructure and so does Sony because they put in hundreds of millions of dollars into this stuff and they've had their service for a lot longer than Nintendo has. Hey, you now know, the Nintendo, is, yeah. be buddy-buddy with Microsoft. I mean, look, you got Banjo in here. Why don't you be buddy-buddy and work with the Microsoft company to get those servers from them? I think that would make things a little bit better. Well, you know what? I would not be surprised if they are doing that. But like, they're actually you. hiding behind the scenes in regards to that. Like, Yeah, they're, they're, because I bet you, I bet you for the cloud stuff for, like, uh, Kingdom Hearts are probably using Microsoft servers mm-hmm. in secret, and they're not telling people. Yeah, until people find out themselves. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, like I... Uh, and Tyrone, let's, uh, I agree with Tyrone as well. Like, as it stands currently right now, just only having Happy Home Paradise there without, like, anything us extra to go outside it. You know, I think it would have also been great had this been a perfect opportunity to have had, like, uh, a free game also included with it. Like, it would have been nice if, ha- if uh, Animal Crossing... Uh, New Horizons was actually like a free demo that you could have played for a week like they did during the launch of this mm-hmm. so people could oh, have also played been that fine. yeah because that, that way you would have been, been you would have actually had a chance to play with the DLC yeah because at that point I'm paying for a service and I'm getting a DLC that gets me interested in the other service and it'll give, give you a the- chance to play it too so maybe if you do want to buy it you can also buy it 
at a discount, which is what they've done before in the past. Yeah, giving me a DLC bundled up with all with the expansion just feels weird. Because again, if I never buy the game. There's always going to be that thing I paid for. Like, it's so, it's like, it'd be literally like if they were like, Metroid Dread's got some new DLC. That you can get with the Kirby Forgotten Land pack. Like, what the fuck? It's weird. It's just weird. Yeah. Now, to be fair, you also get, you know, PSN also has like free DLC. Yeah, yeah free DLC for games you don't yeah. own. If you get if you pre order if you pre order Kirby Forgotten Land, you get the Metroid Dread DLC. But but I don't have Metroid Dread. You get the Metroid Dread DLC and you'll like it. Damn it! <laughs> I don't have it. You'll now get it! I will now in in Nintendo's defense, they will probably it will probably be worth it in two years time if they if they uh, come up and they do this stuff. <laughs> but again, have. but again, this is this this right here is a lick and a promise. That they're trying to do. They're trying to convince, okay, let's get people on the plan and get them enticed so that then we can build capital and then we can do more stuff. That's not, you know, from from a from a surface from a surface standpoint, it's not really that great. But I can understand where they're coming from because realistically they don't have much to offer, but they have to well, they have to pony up to pay the or improve the network. And improve their servers. If this cost, if this cost improves the uh, server connectivity, then I'm all for it. But again, there's not enough content at this point to mm -hmm. convince everybody yet. Probably maybe later next year. Uh, or E3. Let's see if E3 will. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Let Let's see e if if they announce Conquer's Bad for a Day for the e you know an E3 and shit, people will lose yeah. their fucking minds. Will they commit to it? at this moment and will they add more things to really make the expansion pass be feeling bigger like seriously right. though like if they do mario golf dlc expansions or mario kart expansions i think we're gonna be great but as it yeah. currently stands when you only have one title just there it sticks out like a sore thumb because everything else is all retro related yet animal crossing is like the most modern related thing there and it kind of mm. came out of left field uh, so let's hope that they do add more things later down the road. But as it currently stands right now, kind of 50-50. I can understand why people are criticizing it. Because then not everybody owns Animal Crossing. You know, not everybody's going to own that. And when you have something that you can't possess, you know, you can't even use right. at all without any sort of uh, alternative option, it does make it look a little odd. It, and I want people to remember, once again, you're only you're not paying for the DLC that that's not what shot up the price. It just so happens that it's just as a part of it, you know. Right, because the real, the the real, the real thing, and let's be real, it's the it's the Microsoft and Sega licensing that, mm -hmm. that caused the prices to jump up. Especially yeah. the Genesis. That Genesis pricing mm -hmm. is probably the big thing right there. <laughs> but because also, what do we have like thirty? What do we have like thirty games? games? Yeah. Yeah, thirty the games, man. Yeah. Yeah, 30 games for the Genesis and then, like, what, 10 for the N64? And I think I heard that uh, the Genesis games are also online, too. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, Sonic 2 online? <laughs> That's going to be weird, but yeah. Yeah, I'll get to play as Tails and always have to despawn for your Yeah, sins. pretty much. Now, I, I'm glad they chose Sonic 2 out of all of them. Like, Let's they, be real, yeah. Sonic, well, Sonic 3 is hard to, Sonic 3 is hard to port. Mm-hmm. That's probably why I do. Sonic 3 is, like, really hard to port. Oof, yeah, yeah. I see the cutoff over here. Okay, now I see where we can yeah. check it off. Okay, no, you're just, just cleaning up some things in the background. Apologies. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's continue with our shenanigans, why don't we? Uh, mm -hmm. What else am I missing from this? I guess that's really it for Nintendo Switch Online. It's just a matter of it's coming out in about a week or two, and uh, we'll see how people really view it when the time comes. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna be interested to see an MVG's uh, and an analyze you know analytic video for the N64 emulation because gotta compare that to like Moopin 64 and also Project 64 and see how it stacks up. Also, in case people weren't aware of, uh, you could actually also had the chance when this was announced to have purchased the uh, Nintendo 64 controller as well as the Sega Genesis controller. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I yeah. actually managed to get my hands on both of them, so I'm very excited nice. to test them out. Uh, when they come later this month, 
And uh, yeah, we'll and see. the N64 controller is supposed to have Rumble built in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. The Sega Genesis is going to be the first time I own a Sega Genesis controller, mm -hmm. so this is going to be interesting too. <laughs> Never yeah, was a Genesis fan, so. Yeah, but I still prefer if we would have we would have had a six button one because uh, six button one it means that we, it opens the door for like uh, uh, Street Fighter two and stuff. Yeah, but that's Japan exclusive, sadly. Yeah, I know. Maybe eventually we'll find it on uh, Yahoo auctions or Mercado or something. I'll leave that one to you, TSS. Not for me. <laughs> that one yeah. gonna be all on you, buddy. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay, so let's continue on. Why don't we then with our silly shenanigans? Uh, so let's see what else I got to talk about for tonight. We got, uh, as I stated before, we had this discussion on Sora. We had discussion yeah. on Animal Crossing. We had the discussion on Nintendo Switch Online. All right, so we need to talk about Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl, why don't we? Oh, boy. Yep, this is going to be a very interesting discussion because we got a lot of information that came out earlier last week. That I feel is kind of necessary to talk about in tonight's session. Uh, so let me just go and grab the trailer for it first if I can find it. Because for some reason the Pokemon YouTube channel is ridiculously hard to find. Uh, when I'm just trying to write down Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has that issue. But I definitely do. Mm -hmm. And it's dumb. Right. Uh, but let me see if I can continue looking for it. But anyway, uh, to make a long story short, yes, we got some information on uh, updates towards what exactly is going to be coming for the game and uh, what there is to look forward to with, like, quality of life updates. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Hold on. Where's the trailer? The trailer is not even on this channel. Oh, no, there it is. Here we go. Got it. Uh, so let me go and switch over now to the other channel here. Perfect. Okay, so I got with me uh, a list of things that were talked about, and mm -hmm. I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about uh, in tonight's session. So let's begin with the most controversial one, why don't we? The one thing that everybody is very ticked off about, EXP share it was trending a couple of days ago on uh -huh. social media, and I think many people might know as to why that's the case. Uh, but to those who might not know, allow me to give you a brief update on that. EXP share is not a an option that you can toggle on and or off. It is simply there permanently and it applies to every single Pokemon in your team. Alongside this, for some particular reason, the TMs are reverting back from now being permanent tools that you could have used in the past to now being one-time usages like how it was in the old games. They also right. seem to have done another thing where you can actually talk to Pokemon in the wild to where they can use the HM moves for you so that you don't have to use the HM moves despite them also giving you the option to do so if you wish to do so. So, uh, yeah, right. these are some very interesting choices that they're kind of going with this time around. And unfortunately, the big thing that was being talked about was the EXP share. Why this is such a big issue? Well, let's get right into it. So yeah, you cannot turn off the EXP share in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. It's an item that shares experience between Pokemon in the party and has existed for many generations now. Uh, since, wait, long, long ago. However... Uh, I believe it wasn't until Generation 6, where now they included something called the EXP Share All, which I think in those games you were able to toggle between on and off, so that way you yourself can decide how you like your Pokemon to party up. Uh, however, what started with Generation 8 in Pokemon Sword and Shield, that system was no longer assigned to an item and could no longer be turned off, so all Pokemon in your party would automatically earn EX, uh, EXP, uh, throughout the end of any battle. And sadly, mm. that seems to be applying. Well, depending on whose side you're on. Uh, that sadly seems to be applying for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Which hey, is but did Sword and Shield have an unturnoffable? No, that's what I just said right now. They do not. Wait. They yeah, never had. Yeah, you never you never were able to turn off the XP share. My, yeah. my thing well, is... What's the problem? Yeah, what is the problem? Because I think what Game Freak has done is they put EXP share into the routine mm -hmm. of the of the Pokemon party as opposed to a uh, a sub item. All right, so let's start talking about what the problem is. I guess that fans have with this thing. 
Yeah, I was like, there's a good and a bad. Here's the thing about this. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, we're crashing again, are we? Oh, there we go. Here's the good no, and the good. bad thing uh, about this situation, Tyron. Uh, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, okay. Here's the good and the bad thing. So, mm. what's the good thing about it? First of all, I'm glad that it's uh, it's something that fans can use. It'll make things definitely easier for fans to get into, you know, smoothing things out and make the gameplay go from less tiresome to, you know, to just make it now a nice little breeze for fans to enjoy, correct? Yeah. What's the big issue? The game doesn't seem to know what the hell it wants to be. So... You yeah. guys do quality of life updates, right? Things that are being featured in new generations. But why exactly are you reverting back to other options that were like nothing well, fans enjoy? Like, I, because well, it's like I, a 50 50 thing. You... Go on, Tyre. Uh, no, I was making the joke for the remake thing. Uh, well, okay. I mean, no, I mean, I mean, the thing is though. Technically, Sword and Shield have those. It's called TR. So yeah, what they're doing but see, is they're the basically TMs exist though, and we're talking the about TMs, TMs. Are still there. Yeah. 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 T- but unfortunately, there are no TRs as we see currently right now with Brilliant Diamond. Well, yeah, Central. because Gen Four. Yeah, because yeah, because Gen Four was the last gen before those uh, those those uh, TMs uh, reverted to or are converted yeah. into multiple use. Here's my thing, though. Here's my take on it. Like I stated before, I don't like that it doesn't know what it wants to be. Because I hate that they're adding things that are good, but they're reverting the, uh, things that are bad. So it's like trying to meet in that like middle ground, but it just makes the game feel more unpolished as a whole. When you try to please everyone, you please no one. Basically, because it's like, okay, I'm glad you're bringing back uh, the XP share all. That's great. So, I'm assuming TMs and HMs are also going to be the same thing. HMs, of course, always. TMs, we're reverting back to one. Wait, what? But, on the bright side of that as well, that means that also, uh, you can't also, up, you know, customize your cute little uh, secret area that you can always do in past games. Uh, for some reason, you can only apply statues in that one. And uh, the other big issue, too, is that HMs now can also be used on wild Pokemon instead of having to use them in your team. So, that's another good thing. So it's like they keep going back and forth. And they back had and to forth. do that one or else the game would be unfucking playable No, it's not because we no. played Diamond and Pearl and Platinum and clearly those no. work. Oh, we played them. We played them with the freaking, with the dread of a thousand fucking patience points. Yeah, but yeah, I'm, you, I'm saying yeah, you did them. Waiting six and, like. and a half, yeah, six and a half minutes for Chansey's yeah. fucking HP no, not bar to go just, down. Not even that. I'm talking about the HM thing. You did it. You didn't like doing it, but you did it. You had yeah. to. You had no fucking Tyrone, weren't you the advocate for someone saying, you know, being the one that, like, oh, you guys got what you asked for? A pure oh, one-to-one. Oh, definitely. Bobby, I'm saying Obviously, like, Ty does not know sarcasm. Oh, I, I'm, I'm saying this is going in the perspective of, like, I can see why they did that whole wild Pokemon thing. They had to because oh, no, of a I modern... I understand that. Yeah, if a modern audience played, like, that, the way it was originally, oh, they would have lost their fucking mind. Yeah, but, like, here's my issue, then. If you're going to do that, then go the whole way. You're adding quality of life updates... Everything should have been the same way it was in future generations. Why the hell are we reverting back with other concepts that were perfectly fine in modern gens, but you're like, oh no, let's make that bit. Let's make that particular bit the thing that applies to like how it was back in the old games. Like, why do we have to revert TMs back to one usage only when clearly you, you didn't even need to? And yeah, even like, for example, Oras, as mentioned there, Oras clearly applied everything that Generation 6 and onward did. So nobody complained about that. But like here, everybody's, you know, now suddenly starting to notice it. And it, that's what I hate about it. It's because they just don't, they, like I said before, they're, they're in like this middle ground where nobody's going to be happy. Because you're trying yep. to cater for, so, for <laughs> two sides that can't work together. It's either I- one or the other. And you have I to wanted to go. I wanted to go into the gameplay aspect of the experience share thing because I can see it being obviously a problem. But it obviously, and I know TSS is going to bring up a point that I'm probably going to bring up too. So let's break down EXP share and every RPG since like fucking Dragon Quest, the old and Final one, Fantasy One, which is 19 fucking 87. Experience share has been on all party members. 
Pokemon is the only one to break this mold. Simply, well, one of the first games to break this mold. Just simply because Pokemon had, had at the beginning, 150 playable characters. And the idea is you want to train each Pokemon at its own pace. You want to train one Pokemon uh, individually so the team isn't unbalanced, so you don't wind up with a level 70 Charizard and everything else is at level 20. Then you can turn on Experience Share to sort of balance everybody out at the beginning of the game. Or, on the flip side, if you want everybody to uh, to be at the same, uh, to be at different levels, you would turn the experience share off so you can level up certain Pokemon so you can bring them up to speed with the same level that every other Pokemon's at, right? Let's say you caught something really late game and it's at low level. Well, obviously you want it to be higher, uh, as high as everybody, and it's going to be pretty fucking hard to catch up if that Pokemon's at level 5 and everybody else is at level 50. So you would normally just have that Pokemon in the front of your party, switch it out, and then you would level it up as accordingly. Experience share means that everybody gets experience. So your team's going to look like an unbalanced mess if they started off as an unbalanced mess because everybody's getting experience points at different rates. Now, the key here would be to just keep leveling them all up until they reach a middle ground. Pokemon with lower levels will wind up getting more experience, while Pokemon with higher levels get less experience. The higher the level, the less experience you get because, you know, that's how RPGs work and mathematics. The issue we have here now, though, is that when you turn, when, is the option that KG said, the freedom. RPGs are very known for their level of freedom. Being able to do something is always going to be better than being forced to do it. So the problem here becomes what happens when your Pokemon are forced to all level up at the exact same rate. This can make I, I, uh, not Ivy, this can make EV training a pain in the ass. And yes, some people will play and EV train their Pokemon during the story. It's possible, it's a pain in the ass to do, but it's very possible and people have done it in their, uh, in their games before. Well, you can't do that if everybody's getting experience points at the same time, for example. Let's say I go into a cave knowing there's nothing but Zubats and I want to increase my speed. Well, if my other team's there and experience share is on, all Pokemon will receive one speed EV stat. Great for Pikachu, horrible for Geodude. You see the problem here? Put him away. <laughs> yeah, but, but at that point you have to take an extra step to do something that the rest of the Which is what they're is. trying to prevent, though. That's the thing. The whole yeah, point but about at least the you don't have to, Yeah, but you don't have to put... Yeah, but the thing is, though, my question is this. Are they gonna have? Are they gonna have the remote boxes? Yes, they stayed up. I believe then, they then, said they then, will have the boxes. Yes. Yeah. So 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 do so do three and a half seconds. Put the fucking Pokemon in the fucking box, and then whoop de doo go into an encounter. I don't understand. Like, dude. Oh, like, oh, that's, that's fair enough. <laughs> It's, just, it's, not, I, it's not like you don't have to, it's not like it's not like they, they, they fucking said oh fuck you we're not gonna get it and you have to go all the way to fuck back to a town fucking again, five to ten minute walking just again, to fucking do that again so that's, fair, so that's yeah it's again, a fair point fair enough however <laughs> kg brought this up earlier it's the freedom of choice you being able to make that choice on your own is a lot better than you having to make that choice because the game decided to go Final backwards. Fantasy <laughs> yeah, the game decided to go backwards instead of forward. And the older games, you didn't have to do that. You could literally specifically train one Pokemon in speed and just do that training and be fine. Here, you have to take extra steps. What if you wind up in a situation where if you drop your Pokemon off in the box and you only keep the Pokemon that you want to speed EV and you wind up getting fucking killed. Then the game resets, you didn't save, and you gotta start all over again. There's so many, there's just too many conditions. Yeah, why do I have to drop all of my Mons just to train one Mon? One Mon. When, like, once again, it's not necessarily the thing about having it on or having it off. It's just simply giving me the choice to do it, yeah, which has I would been something. I would think the engine. I would think the engine, though, it all depends on how they coded the engine because which pisses me off EXP because it share. worked on the 3DS on the or us on Sun and Moon. Yeah, but it's a different. Okay, but it's a different engine. Yes, but how did different they not engine. work that but around? They're using this, but they're copying the same shit from the other. <laughs> no, they're not. They're it, not, uh, dude. Okay. Okay. Yes, they okay. The TMs are no. still temporary instead no, of permanent. No, 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 no. What I'm saying is the engine, the game engine, is different 
from those games to that game. I would think that the reason why they didn't do it is because they took the sword, the, the sword and shield approach worked for them in terms of they didn't have to fucking write subroutines to fucking be able to check for that. I would think that they would that there was a problem when they fucking try to do that. And, and listen, I want to make it clear again, TSS. I, at the start of this, I already agree with you. I want to make that perfectly clear. I will already state the fact yes. that in every RPG besides Pokemon, usually you're able to just give every party member experience. That's typically yes. because in every RPG, all the party members are around yes. the same level at gate anyway. And during yes. the base of the story, when you get new yes. characters in an RPG, they usually scale them up to match the other characters on your team. That Correct. way you don't run into this issue where you got one character at level fucking five while the other characters are at level 50. Pokemon's mm. different. Pokemon has situations where you can very well catch a level two fucking Pokemon in the same type of game where you catch level fucking 60 Pokemon. It's yes. an unbalanced mess. And yes. obviously that there needed to be some processes taken in order in order to prevent those things. I'm yes. significantly surprised that Pokemon found a way to measure out 150 fucking characters at once in the mm. startup game. But I digress. My thing yes. is, is that again, we stated RPG's main drawing is the ability to make choices. It's one of the reasons why it makes the game harder, easier, based on how you do. It's the cornerstone of why most people choose to do certain runs of Pokemon. Nuzlocke mm -hmm. runs, where they release Pokemon when they get killed. Fucking, uh, you can, I've done this since the beginning. You can change the game from shift to set, which means the trainer won't announce what Pokemon they're going to switch into, giving you the ability to switch to the Pokemon appropriate. Every time I put it on set, the trainer I fight just chooses the next Pokemon. It makes mm. the game effectively harder because you lose that yes. turn to switch out. Yes. Um, the freedom of choice is what's being taken away, and that's what the issue is. The, yeah, we don't but, have an issue with the fact that the experience share is on. But, but, but here's the thing. The issue okay. with you can't turn it okay. off. Okay, but, but here's the thing, though. What people don't understand is... There's always an unjust reason for this to happen. We will never know the unjust reason for it to happen. But the problem is people have to have to consider both sides when we're talking about this. You have to look at it from the the programmers front because because at the end of the day, we're 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 lower than programmers. We don't know what the fuck is going on in the backseat. So you have to take that into consideration as well. And the problem is, since a lot of the stuff is trade secrets, unless if we some have have somebody data mine the game and reverse engineer it, where we have it we have it run in freaking uh, Ida Pro or some shit, we will not know the fucking calls, and we will not know what what the fuck is going on. But you have to be mindful that it's that it's all that that there is it must be a just reason for doing that. It probably has to do with maybe game balancing or a problem or an issue with pro with the engine itself. We will never know that problem. If you want to be blunt about it, I think we're thinking too hard. I don't think there's a technical issue. I think just nowadays kids would uh, kids nowadays are different than we were when we played this. When we yes. played this, we went through those those and things. And even Masuda, even Masuda, like freaking said yeah. straight up, you know, in the XY era, that's why they make the game fucking easier. Yeah, like I said, we went through these things because they were just things we had to go through. This was back in yeah. an era where in RPGs there was, there was still no, and there was there also was, there was also there was also no mobile gaming. Yeah, there was still a standard in which to make the game as physically long as possible so yes. that you get your money's worth. That's Here, right. Here we have a situation where games go by, come and go so quickly. I, the idea is to beat the game, I guess, and move on. Which and means also, and also most, to consider. Sorry, go ahead. The most optimal way to do that, I guess, in this situation, would be to have all your Pokemon ideally level up at the same yes. time. And I don't think, and I honestly think BDSP is BDSP is obviously not going to be competitive because that's why they haven't announced any tournament. Oh, hell no. The comp yeah, the competitive scene for this is going to look whack as fuck. No, they they're not doing it. They're, they're, they're not doing it. Yeah. They're not doing it. It's hard because I think, I think they year. even realized, I think they even realized that it wasn't yeah. going to work. People are still going to make a competitive scene because fans of course. are fans. But Nintendo yes. or Game Freak, they're not going to do shit about it. They're, they're going to look and go, well, you got your game, move on. And I think that obviously th this is one of the reasons I'm not as mad about this game as I was back then. Because I thought Diamond and Pearl was going to straight up be like Oros and replace the current game that exists. 
Oras took X and Y spot. In yes. tournament play, you would play yes. Oras during Gen 6. That was Correct. the official national Pokemon quota was mm-hmm. to, to buy Oras. It was necessary to compete in competitive play. Right. This is not. And thus, you run into a situation where this game, in and of itself, just feels like filler. <laughs> but, but, but at the same time, it I can see why... These people are mad now is because they wanted it to become that, but unfortunately, it's not that. This is simply what happens when you take a game that was mainstream and turn it into a side game, and people are pissed. <laughs> and I think also, people have the right to also, be pissed too, because it's but, like yeah. they. The issue is once again, the issue is not necessarily the fact that they have this on and off. The issue is just that they're trying to find a middle ground where they just can't, Mm -hmm. but they think they do, or they think they can. And unfortunately, because of this decision, they just straight up making this game look worse as a whole. Not necessarily just for a casual playthrough, but just as just in general, making a bad look for the Diamond and Pearl game itself. You wanna know what I find super ironic about this? What? Guess which Pokemon game will take? Technically, this is true and untrue. But guess which Pokemon game really started off the online level of competition? Wow. Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl. Has to be. <laughs> and now it's useless. And now you can't use any competitive meta. Look where we've gone. Look what's happened. Diamond and Pearl was the first Pokemon game to kick off online competitive meta. The online was a pain in the fucking ass back then. But it was the first game to do it. Now look where we've come. Now we've come to a situation where Diamond and Pearl can't even top the game that it's going after to be online competitive meta because it's a remake. But people wanted it to because that's the same thing that happened with Auras and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. And now this game just feels less and less like an actual game to really... And, and, now, and now this game feels like a... I wouldn't say a soulless version. Obviously, it still has the Diamond and Pearl shit that was in it from the beginning. Yeah, you could still but see the now, emotions there. Yeah, you could, still, you could still play the story and all that bullshit. But now you've run into a situation where in terms of online competitive meta and its lasting power, after you beat Diamond and Pearl, assuming they don't have a battle frontier, you're pretty much done here. That's it. Diamond and Pearl did not have a big post game. I'm going to remind you all of that. And it we saw not. in the map as well, it's looking to be the Diamond and Pearl map, not the Platinum map. Yeah, the only thing you could do in Diamond and Pearl in terms of post game was catch legendaries. That that was that was it. That was pretty much it. Mm-hmm. And maybe do the battle tower if you're feeling antsy. So, it, I don't know. I just find this whole thing just, just crazy. Just That's- crazy. There's another topic I want to bring up to mm-hmm. that is uh, uh, people. Okay, so um, people have heard some of the music that came out for BDSP, and they were saying, "Oh, this is MIDI music." Okay, so okay, so disclaimer here: I am not a professional musician, but I did uh, play trumpet in a in in middle school and high school for six years. And I know how to read sheet music, and I've also been reading on computer music for like the last like ten years. So, the first of all, people are getting it wrong. Okay, MIDI stands for multi. Uh, I'm sorry, for musical in- instrument digital interface, and that is it. A MIDI is a protocol. It is a. It is a interface. It is not a mu- It's not the sounds that you hear. When people say, "Oh, it's MIDI music," no, that's incorrect. They're talk- They're talking about sequenced music they're talking about sound fonts and virtual instruments in a sequencer which is your fl studio your lmms your r door your freaking uh what is the other one um cubase those are what you're talking about like instruments like virtual instruments okay so MIDI is an interface that can either be used for input or output. Like for example, you could take MIDI output from an old Windows 3.1 or Windows 95 machine and go to an external MIDI interface that produces music such as the Roland MPU-401. And, and uh, LGR has po- actually uh, have videos on that shit where you can uh, put, you'll send, you send signals out to a MIDI device such as the Roland. 
and then it will make then it will generate the music. Okay? Or on the flip side, you could use MIDI the MIDI interface to take a keyboard and I don't know, record somebody's farts and then use that to uh, manipulate on a sequencer or on a piano roll and make it different notes. It's basically you have you have three different you have three different types of music that you can put in, uh, three different types of samples you can put in a, in, a, in an interface. Okay? So you have um you have sound fonts which are basically like wave like wavetable recordings of instruments like a piano like a real piano you have vsts or virtual instruments where you can where it's like a synthesized thing right it's synthesized music or you can have samples which are like drums or um i don't know objects you know you could you could hit like a bell or something or take any sort of wave recording and then use that and then you could put it into a, a sequencer in a program and then just use a piano roll and do like different notes so when people talk about midi music they're talking about sampled sequen sampled music from a sequencer and that's how it's that how it works no con no gaming console right now natively supports the MIDI interface no Nintendo console uh, supports it natively the Fami MIDI is a MIDI device that you can use on the suit on the Famicom where you can use a keyboard to trigger the different sound channels in it and then it will generate the music but when somebody talks about MIDI music they're not taught the MIDI MIDI is incorrect it's a sequen it's sequenced uh, sequenced sampler music it's, it's sequenced synthesized instruments Okay, so people that are talking about, oh, it sounds like MIDI. No, MIDI's a fucking interface. Get it right. All right, I mean, so just so, to explain yeah. the reasoning, uh, because I don't think we actually explained how this all originated. I think it mm -hmm. was somebody on Twitter who mentioned about a friend discovering that the trainer battle theme in uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl sounds like a MIDI because it uses the default trumpet sample if you were to directly drag the original Diamond and Pearl MIDI into Cubase, I believe that's what it's called. Mm -hmm. And if you literally watch the video, you'll clearly hear it kind of sounds identical. However, once again, we got to remember, they always state this in every single goddamn trailer at like the very beginning. What did they always say? Game footage, not final. Yes. Now, mind you, that's still kind of concerning because we're like a month away. However, this could have been a very early build. We don't really know. But still, mm -hmm. the fact that it's kind of like happening and people caught on to this and we don't know if this is going to actually be applied to in the main game itself when we get to it later uh, this month or next month. Uh yeah, it does leave concerns, but once again, we just gotta we just gotta wait and see. It, it's just another one of those things that Pokemon seems to be really known for doing, just having for now, us weirdly, to wait and see. One, weirdly, one of my issues is the poke uh, the poke itch. Hey, I, it showed up just right there too. Thank you. Uh, my issue is that it's on the left side of the screen, right. like on the on the right side of the screen, like a fucking uh, like a fucking uh, webcam to a goddamn screen. <laughs> I'm gonna just put my webcam on top of it, bro. I, Nobody's gonna ever yeah, find it. I was just gonna do that. I was gonna edit my face right there. <laughs> so edit your face, but make sure it's still inside the little box that it comes in. Exactly. That's all you gotta do. Just just make it look like as if you actually designed that shit, not actually realize it's from the game itself. Nobody will bat an eye on that, bro. It's so stupid. I hate that it's up there. Like, literally, mm. if I stream this game, which I will, I'm probably going to wind up asking uh, Azure Samurai or Donnie to make a font that makes the poke look like it's a natural part of the screen. Because that looks so... it's uh, It sticks out like a sore fucking thumb. Now, obviously, gameplay's not final or whatever. But can I fix that? It looks weird. I don't like it. I don't, I don't, it's so out there. And the reason is because this shit was meant for the DS. So it's meant for the dual screen, which means this has no business being here. Even my touchscreen placement for X and Y looks better than this, because at least I made a, like, I have a box separate for it. This just looks like it's here. Like, yep, the Pokex is up there. Yeah, for Weird, some reason huh? your hand is all the way at the top right. <laughs> Weird. Huh? Yo, know, like, how do you even, uh, I guess we'll figure out what we play. I was going to say, how do you even have access to it? Do you touch it? Like, what happens? Yeah, because it's supposed to be a touchable <laughs> thing, but I guess not. How do you use the coin flip? How do you use? <laughs> I guess what they're going to do is they're going to map 
um, the the analog stick when the menu is open. Like the right analog stick probably is going to be. Yeah, more maybe. Uh, probably. But still, it, it is hilarious regardless. It just sticks out like a sore thumb. That's all. It just looks weird. Like I said, this this to me is the weirdest remake I've ever seen in my goddamn life. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It wants to be faithful, but it also wants to be modern. So it's like, pick your poison. What are you like doing? Like I said, I didn't want this game to exist simply because I was afraid that it was going to take the place of Sword and Shield. And I like Sword and Shield, and I wanted it to keep going with its competitive because Sword and Shield is the best competitive right now. And I don't want it to buy a whole nother fucking game. And throw away Sword and Shield because fucking Diamond and Pearl came out. My problem has solved itself. But now there's new problems. Problems I don't really have. But they're problems nonetheless. And I find it funny. Yeah. Hmm. Overall, it's an interesting I'm thing. I'm the trick said it best. Just buy Arceus and be done with it. People will be pissed off when Primal Dialga and Palkia are in PLA and not in this one. <laughs> you know what I'll be pissed off on? The reason why this game exists and why I would like for it to exist better and why I'm happy Sword and Shield is a thing still, bro, I swear to God, if you guys don't update Sword and Shield to include the Pokemon that are in this game and that you can transfer them over into uh, brilliant, uh, into Sword and Shield, I'm going to be so annoyed by that. I'm, yeah, I'm sure there's going to have to be a Sinnoh patch. Mm -hmm. There, has, there to has to be a BDSP patch, man. Because that would be the best then, thing. Because that's in, that's yeah. gonna include all the generation one through four mods that weren't in Sword and Shield, and now yeah. can be brought into Sword and Shield. Because they did it, confirm it, it's generation one through yeah. four in this game. At least then that would give the uh, that would at least then give this game some value, <laughs> some lasting yeah. stopping power. Yeah, because yeah, because then you could take it for Pokemon Home and then just. I mean, yeah, yeah, but, see, even but see now that that gives it purpose. Now that mm, this title now gives that purpose. But only if they do it, though. But we don't know if they're going to go to that length. Because you know, we have to wait until 2022. Allowed, even Let's Go allowed you to uh, transfer yeah. Pokemon to home. So I'm sure. No, no, no. These, po the, these Pokemon will be transferable to home. But the question is, will they be able to be transferred to Sword and Shield? That we don't know. Yeah, that that you on your own on that one. I don't know. Yeah, that's, but, that's um, the thing I'm trying to talk about. If they can allow you to almost catch Pokemon, in the game. Yeah, if they can allow you to catch Pokemon in this game, transfer them over into home, and then transfer those Pokemon from home to uh, Sword and Shield, then this game has much more purpose built around it. But if you yeah. don't do anything to apply the patch to include the Pokemon that were not in Sword and Shield but are in BDSP, then it really just makes this game feel just that less significant. Because who knows, when the Generation I, 9 game comes out, we don't even know if all the Pokemon will come back in that one or I hope they, I hope they do this too. I hope that, um, because they've been doing it recently and I like it. So, even if you have Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee, they have some stopping power in Sword and Shield a little bit too. If you have Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee and you play Sword and Shield, you can get the Gigantamax of the Pokemon game that you got. Mm -hmm. So, you get you get Gigantamax Eevee if you get Let's Go Eevee and Gigantamax Pikachu if you get Let's, uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Yes. So, you get those. If you have the same data of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl... For I wish that had some effect on your Sword and Shield game in some way, shape, or form. It has to. It oh my, has to. I'm only just saying, bro, if you can get a... Because you can. If you can somehow get... And I think they did this with Auras. Get a Pokemon that's from the Diamond and Pearl DS games. Transfer them all the way to home. Bring them to this game. And have that trigger something. Because yeah. that also happened in Auras too. Yes. Where I think you were able to transfer a Pokemon and you get some cool ribbon for it or something like that. Or hell, I wouldn't even uh, mind some backwards DLC situation. Like, when Legend Arceus comes out, you receive, uh, once you beat the game at a certain point, you get the Azure Flute, the mm -hmm. thing that summons Arceus. And then you go back and play Diamond and Pearl, Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl. And you can use that flute to fight Ar Arceus. Like it transcends and, dimensions. Yeah. Because Arceus' coding is in Diamond and Pearl. It, like, the, like, the event is in Diamond and Pearl. The original event was in Diamond and Pearl. We just never got it because, you know, J uh, Japan, America. We, we wound up just, they just ended up giving us Arceus. Here, we run into a situation where you could literally play out that event. Where you literally can play the Azure Flute and go up to the tower and fight Arceus. Which would be fucking cool. I really think that event was cool. It's a shame we never got it. But, yeah. 
this game this game confuses me and i'm sure it's making a lot of people mad <laughs> it's not making me mad but it, but i am confused mm. gardenia looks nice <laughs> I, mean, I mean like i said it's it's gonna be it's gonna just gonna be interesting i want to play uh shining pearl because i just want to play a gen 4 game that isn't isn't going to be like a, a slog to go through the, to go through the story that's just the, that's that's just the reasoning why i'm buying it because i i try i i honestly tried to play like diamond in japanese and that was like oh god this shit is just too slow i can't take this shit Simrod just brought up a good point. They did actually, that GS Ball situation that was in Japan that was for cell phones uh, way back in like 2000, you could actually do that in the virtual console 3DS version of uh, Gold, Silver, and Crystal. So <laughs> I hope they let you do that here. Like, I hope they implement that here. Like, I, I, they let you do the older events. Because that's mm -hmm. really cool. And then wasn't there something about Manaphy? Wasn't Manaphy supposed to show up by some weird reason because Rangers doesn't exist in this situation? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just can't remember what it was. How do you get Manaphy in this game? Is it a is it a uh, is it a paywall? I don't know. Oh, that that'd be weird. We'll see what happens. Yeah, but we'll I'm, I'm I'm still I'm 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 still I'm I'm still I still want to play this game just to. Oh, Manaphy's a mystery gift. Got it. Okay. Oh, cool. okay, mystery yeah, gift. That makes that sense. Makes okay. sense. Yeah, they, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Well, mm. Mew was Mew was fifty dollars. So, <laughs> oh, but um, yeah, just. There's going to be criticisms no matter which way we go, but I'm with KG on this one. The inconsistencies are, are what's the odd part. If you're going to make it a remake, make it a fucking remake. If you're going to make it cla uh, original to the old game, you got to make all of it original to the old game. Otherwise, you're going to run into some weird shit. Mm. So, yeah, controversy is, is a bound to happen no matter which direction you go. I think this is just one of those situations where... I think we've been bogged down with so many remakes. Because this is Pokemon's four fucking remake now that we stop to think about it. Five if you count Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. At this point, we're, all, we're literally halfway on the mark in which the original generations come out. If they make a Gen 5 remake, we'll be more than halfway caught up. Yeah. And that's weird. Mm -hmm. And I don't want that. And it's like, honestly, if it ain't broke sometimes, don't fix it. <laughs> Game Freak said, let's meet the middle ground for that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, I think this should be the last remake, honestly. I think this should be the last Pokemon remake in general. This is just the ending result of what happens when people want too much and they literally get... No, it's what happens, no, it's what happens when the investors want money. Well, yeah, but at the same time, like, I don't know, to me, you gotta... When companies get, get trapped in money, and obviously companies are going to want to make money. That's how companies work. M making money is key in order for people to survive. People I mean, look at Apple, money. right? Yeah, people need money. But what happens when the, when the want for money destroys what you originally intended to create in the first place? I think at this point they are starting to make things more for as cash grabs than means to have players enjoy. I think the last Pokemon game to me that was made for player enjoyment was Gen 5. <laughs> <laughs> and yet, that was the game that nobody liked at the time. But now it's suddenly praised as one of the greatest games of all time. Too bad that wasn't around when Black and White came out. Where the hell were all you guys when this happened? Yeah. Mm. But sadly, uh, that's just not the case. Unfortunately, I agree with you, Tyrone. It's become more and more of something of a cash grab, more than something genuine and fun to play. Yeah. I mean, sure, they're still developing it. So they're still, you know heart and soul being put into it's, these it's titles. Still a, it's still a playable game. For exactly. as much shit as we give Pokemon, it, most Pokemon games, even the worst ones, are playable. We got games out here. Shit, I'm a Sonic fan, and I know for a fact there's games, <laughs> that, are <laughs> there's games that are broken. Pokemon, for, for, as, for as bad as like the worst generations are, even they're playable. Make fun of fucking red, blue, and yellow all you want. They're the first games, and they're playable. They have glitches, too, but you got to go out of your way to find them. Well, uh, not necessarily, but... Yeah, but it's playable. You can, you can yeah, pick it up, you can play, play it, you can beat it. Like, it's, it's, yeah. it's a playable game. There's some games that I've played that aren't even fucking... I don't even know how they register as games. Big rigs! Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so for as much fun as we make up with Pokemon, you gotta remember, it, it, at the end of the day, it's still a damn game. It's yeah. still playable. Somebody's playing it. Somebody likes it out there somewhere.
Shit, X and Y for as many problems as it has, it at least got its problems packed. And now we're living yeah. in a generation where there are people saying X and Y are the greatest games of all time for Pokemon. I'm not. I don't. I'm yeah, not black not. and white was it? Now it's X and Y turn. So just I'm that's, not because, that's because they legalized talk. marijuana. That's why. I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> you should talk <laughs> about X and Y, Tyrone. Yeah, I'm good. Aww. I need to talk about the anime because it's its eighth anniversary. Dude, but the, I'm not dude, dude, dude the X and Y games are also eight years too, buddy. <laughs> they they came yeah, out but, at the same time. <laughs> but people know my channel for the anime, not the video game. True, true, true. Which I will be making some XY anime related content at some point before the damn anniversary. Uh, just give me a minute, okay? I just got back from out of yeah. I just got back from being out of town. Um, I'll, I'll get to it, okay? Fifty six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, but no. So you know, it's just funny. This entire conversation, everything that we discussed tonight, everything that we've been blabbering about. For Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, you know what could have just fixed all of this shit? A choice. All of this, at the end of the day, everything choice. could have just been completely fine had there just been the choice. The power not, of not, choice not being permanently stuck on Team Yes or being stuck on Team No, just yeah. Team Choice. But sadly, because there is no choice... That's what caused all of this to go down to begin with. And it's that's the little the thing. It's just like when you, when you uh, remember in Gen 5 when you use Repel and you ran out of Repel and the game goes, would you like to use another Repel? Yes, I would like to. Hold up, what? Yeah, like, it's a quality little, of life update. Yeah, that little change. That, and it even gives you the option to say yes or no. That little change made like a world of difference. Exactly. But see, that's a, an improvement that they were building upon what was already, you know, built beforehand with Diamond and Pearl. It wasn't a remake or anything of any sort. No, it was just a straight up enhancement of what came prior to it. But when you get into remake territory, that's where the real question comes in. Are you going to be faithful to what came beforehand or are you going to modernize it by including some of the tropes that you've incorporated from modern games in your franchise into the past? And... Well, that's what got us into this discussion to begin with. So hopefully what we talked about tonight can give you some form of answer. Do we all agree with it? No. Do we all disagree with it? No. Everybody has their, you know, opinions on what they think is the correct choice. It's just simply the fact that, well, we had to talk about it because there is no choice. <laughs> so, yeah. Overall, and honestly, very- and honestly, and honestly, and honestly, the, uh, the uh, Joe Blows and Jane Paynes aren't going to care about buying it for their eight-year-old son and having a choice. Mm-mm, because they don't know any better. That's the thing. They they don't know. We know, but they don't know. Yeah, and know. it's still going to sell. It's still going to sell millions. Oh, no, nobody's going to deny like, the fact it's like, that it's, it's like, you know, yeah, and, and the problem is people are going to be making change.org petitions that have as many signatures, uh, less have, have less signatures than the fucking Declaration of Independence. But people don't give a fuck about that. True. Yeah. True. Pretty much. Can't believe we're talking about that for Pokemon, but yes. <laughs> Indeed. All right. So there is our talk for uh, for the Brilliant Diamond. Diamond and Shining Pearl shenanigans. Now that makes you kind of question, well, what kind of things are there left to talk about? Oh, We boy. do got one last thing to talk about before we go and call things uh, a night. Uh, so this is what happened earlier today. Uh, we actually had ourselves in our possessions the Apple event that played out. And oh, the Apple boy. event included, well, a lot of the things that weren't in the previous ones. What they bring up, the Apple iMac Pro. Uh, I think it was the laptop. The, uh, no, well, no, they didn't they didn't talk about the iMac. No, uh, no, the, they, uh, what was it? The, I, it no, wasn't the iMac, no, they, it was no, the MacBook. No, no, no. Yeah, it was the, yeah. Uh, basically... It was it was about music and it was about the MacBook Pro. Yes, and also and also uh, new uh, n- new AirPods and um, ho- new HomePod Mini. It's like, wow, you're getting fucking colors now. What is next? Fucking RGB lights? Like fuck. <laughs> They're trying to get in everything, but yeah. So we got. I think it was. Uh, let's take a quick look at this. Uh, first of all, the MacBook Pro is finally being incorporated with things for some reason were removed in the past, but now it's finally being added back in for some reason, like an HDMI, uh. Uh, SD card, a t- I think it's a Type-C cable or something like that. Uh, amongst many other things, also the new AirPods that we got a, a glimpse into as well that looks to be very nice. 
but I already have my AirPods Pro, so I'm kind of happy with those. But if they ever make an AirPods Pro 3, I'll take those for sure. Um, but overall, what more can be said than when you look at it for what it is, it looks great. It actually does. A lot of good improvements, a lot of great things coming into it. And everything is all fine and dandy until you see the pricing. Uh-oh. And this mm. is where things begin to oh, spiral. Oh, it's more problems. Than a million yeah, no, 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 I'm saying that's where it begins. <laughs> that's where it begins. Yeah, that's where it begins. And this is where I'm going to pass it on to you, TSS, because you had more to talk about. In fact, you were the one that wanted to talk about it more than anybody here. Uh, yes. And I'm really curious as to your take on this, because uh, you're okay. more of a techie guy out of this entire group. So Okay, so... So MacBook Pro, so MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inches were announced. So the base price, so the base price for the MacBook Pro 14 inch is 19.99, and the 16 uh, and the 16 inch is 24.99. Now normally that would be okay. It's a Mac product, but there are many problems with both this presentation and the hardware that I have to talk about. Okay, so first of all. Um, the graphs that they used, and I and, and and that's and that's the first thing, and that's strike one. The graphs that they use made absolutely no sense for what the target audience is going to pa going to be, because we're talking about a MacBook Pro, and what they did here was they showed industry leading performance per watt, and they showed graphs, CPU performance versus power. And they're showing, okay, a comparable 4-core and 8-core laptop versus the, uh, the original M1 and the M1 Pro and M1 Max. Which, by the way, that's the new, those are the new silicon that Apple's making. The problem is, when you do something like that, it's like, it's like going to, it's like, it's like planning to buy a car. But you're going to buy, but for performance, you want to like fast car and performance and value for money. But then you buy a fucking Toyota Prius instead of a fucking Nissan GTR. So it makes no fucking sense because, and you bought it because, oh, the Prius has better mile per gallon, has better, you know, has, has better, has a, you know, has better fuel economy, and you want performance. That's the kind of shit that Apple pulled off tonight, today. It made absolutely no sense, and it's saying, oh, but you get seventy percent. For the same amount, 70% more power for the same wattage. I don't give a fuck about wattage. I want fucking power. I want to fucking be able to do lots of multitasking, lots of video editing. Oh, yeah. And let's talk about the video editing. Oh, they're talking about, oh, look at this. We have, we have dedicated decoding and encoding units for H.264, H.265, and ProRes. You know what's not on that fucking list? VP9 and AV1, which is used for a fucking YouTube. VP9, you need to have, like, you need to have, you know, even fucking Android TV boxes that cost fucking $30, $40 has that fucking decryption in it, uh, has, the, has the decoding in it. So that means that when you go on YouTube with your fucking two thousand dollar laptop, you can't fucking you, you you're not gonna get fucking ex hardware acceleration, okay? And that's and that's what's and that's what's fucking stupid. And who the fuck is gonna use ProRes? Real people use fucking H two six five and H two six four or fucking Red Codec, and it's like fucking people. Come on, man. Like okay. And on top of that, they don't give any fucking benchmarks. And all they all they do is fucking they, they show they show a fucking video package about oh Mac OS for the M1 Pro and M1 Max and all they're doing is fucking circle jerking jerking off with all these fucking video effects that are going on in all the fucking scenes. I don't give a fuck about that. Give me the fucking practicality. Also, by the way, they do they that that here we have a fucking pro laptop that you cannot plug a five dollar fucking USB stick into it without a fucking dongle. Okay? You can't fucking plug in a hard drive. You can't do anything like that unless you buy a fucking dongle. And that's fucking stupid. Also, you can actually... Get, and also, think about it this way. You're paying fucking $2,000 for fucking one piece of silicon, two fucking RAM chips, and, and that's it. And then basically, a fan 
and fucking battery and a fucking screen, which is a fucking notch, a fucking notch on a fucking laptop in fucking 2021. And on top of that, they don't have fucking face ID where they're fucking Dell XPSs, which have a fucking thinner bezel on the top, have fucking Hello ID for fucking Windows. And on top of that, you can actually you can actually take a fucking 14 inch MacBook and get 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 it fucking maxed out. 64 gigs of unified memory, fucking 24 a uh, 32 core fucking M1 Pro, fucking eight terabytes of fucking SSD, and you get to pay fucking 6,500 fucking six thousand fucking dollars for fucking MacBook Pro, where you can't even fucking plug in a goddamn USB cable and a, U, a, a USB A cable into it. Oh, and yeah, it's like, oh, we bought the MagSafe connector. Yeah, but you took out the fucking USB A, which a fucking two hundred dollar laptop has, and it's fucking stupid. Like, 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 it's fucking asinine that they're going to have people buy this shit for this much money. You're spending this much money on fucking custom silicon and you have no, and like, oh, but you could run fucking four displays. I don't give a fuck about that. What the fuck happens if you try to fucking, oh, you got to go to the office and okay, okay, uh, my colleague has a fucking USB flash drive and he had to plug it in the computer. No, oh, I left my fucking dongle at home. What the fuck is that? Like I said, you're gonna have a guy coming with you with a fucking USB flash drive and you have no fucking place to plug it into your fucking MacBook because you don't fucking bring your dongle to work. What the fuck is that? And it's like, seriously, why the fuck? And it's like, oh, we bought the MagSafe connector back. It's like, dude, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't fucking work like that. You're, you're, you're taking away freedoms that people used to fucking have with a fucking USB A and you're fucking paying 2,000 fucking dollars plus. And on top of that, you have to fucking deal with the fucking notch. You have to deal with potentially more keyboard problems because Apple just still doesn't know how to fucking uh, design a keyboard in fucking 2021. And on top of that, then you have to fucking deal with okay, now now that you now that you have our silicon, now you're going to be dropped in. Also, there was a, there was a part of the presentation on the Mac OS that I that I really liked. And it's like hardware verified, secure boot. Runtime anti exploitation and fast inline encryption. You know what that means? If the SSD dies in your fucking MacBook Pro, you can kiss that data fucking goodbye. And that means it's a pro laptop that you have no control. And also, on top of that, we have no fucking Ethernet. Pros use Ethernet. We use uh, fucking Ethernet. Why the fuck should I have to buy a fucking dongle to have Ethernet? And it's a bad fucking, it's a bad fucking trend. And it's fucking too expensive for what it is. And like I said, it, 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 it doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, oh, but you get to code two video streams at the same time. Dude, I don't give a fuck. Where is the fucking performance? Like, 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 I, I, I'm, it's fucking asinine to me that you could spend, that you could spend this much money on such, like, asinine, uh, like, like, such compromises and people will still buy this shit. And it, it, that's what it is. You buy a fucking, you could go and buy a gaming laptop for 1200 bucks and be better than this. Because it's actually functional and you can actually do shit with it. And I'm like, dude, it's it's not it's not worth it. It's like this is this is this this is once again I actually I actually made a new I knew I made I am officially naming the MacBook Pro a new name. It's gonna be called the MacBook Lamal. And the Lamal has a fucking it has a as is an anagram as has an actual thing about it. So LMAO, what does it mean? Losers for MacBook authoritative uh, authoritative owners. Oh shit! Authoritar authoritarian <laughs> owners. So it's so it's losers for losers for MacBook authoritarian <laughs> owners. Because that's what the fuck they want you to do. Mac shit. Yeah, Apple is fucking selling a service to you now, and if that shit breaks, eight yeah yeah that that nice shiny SSD that fucking you you spend you spend fucking three thousand dollars on a fucking MacBook. It's dead. You can't get components because it's all fucking integrated, and the SSD is fucking encrypted. Goodbye to your data, and fuck you. And that's what's happening. Do not buy the MacBook Pro. Just fuck them, hundred percent. In the look, ass with a tire iron. Look, look, <laughs> Six times. You know the look, only bright side. Well, there is no bright side. But the only good thing I have to say about this look, situation. This old dinky ass dongle I have with me currently is finally gonna have some purpose again. And goddamn, like, look at all that tape I got going on for it. <laughs> what a mag safe. Sure yeah. is safe right now, buddy. Uh, uh.
Look, man, I look, man, I just work here. You gonna buy the damn Mac or not? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that joke ever since TSS started his rant, and I'm like, ooh, I'm going to hit it at the end. Yeah, I'm glad you got to pay off with that one. <laughs> Look, man, I just want... Because you know you know, TSS would go off on a guy at, like, a Mac store about all of this, and it'll be, like, some 22-year-old idiot, and he'll just be like, Look, man, I, I just work here so I can get enough money for some pot, and then after I smoke said pot, I'm going to come back to work again so I can buy some Cheetos for said pot. And, like... You need to chill the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> KG, at least the MagSafe cable was replaceable. That's the only positive thing. We had to go back old school just for this shit. I can imagine the teenager. He's got, like, tattoos on his arms. He's got snake bites. And T.S. is, like, going off on his kid for some his shit. His eyes that he has no- red as fuck. Yeah. He's got, like, no control of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> So some dude in the front is is talking about how the MacBook doesn't like support you. Without, without I don't know, I'm, I'm without fucking being high said, as shit right now. Without with that with that being with that being said, however, I would like to I would like to at least get one device, like a cheap device with an M1 in the future, so I can just play around with it. But like I said, the problem the problem is. Uh, Apple is way out of touch and doesn't know what the fuck pros need. Uh, pros, uh, what, what I, guess, I guess they, I guess what, I guess what, uh, I guess what Apple thinks pros do is uh, have 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 their laptop connected to Wi-Fi in in a fucking studio area and they fucking jerking off all day and not doing actual work. <laughs> Damn, Jesus Christ, bro. That's what the, that's what the fuck they think that it is. Oh yeah, and then, then the, at the at the very beginning of the presentation where they had all those. Uh, you had you had a guy with the fucking MIDI keyboard and kicked all the Mac stuff and they 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 sampled like all the freaking like uh, notifications and Mac startup shit mm-hmm. and makes music. Well, yeah, the Mac Mini, but I'll wait until the Mac Mini devalues at some point. But that's what it is. But um, but all oh yeah, and also there was other shit in this conference. Um, they announced a Apple Music plan that's like five dollars, but all you can do is play playlists that other people created. Oh no, I'm and going for that 9.99 plan I've always had. Yeah, before. yeah, it's like it's like fuck that. It's like it's it's like it's like uh it's, it's like oh, then that means that then that means that that you pay five dollars for the same shit that you could go into a fucking shopping mall or a fucking supermarket. It's you so don't dumb that plan. Music. That's that's so back asswards with that shit, man. I yep. hate it. It's mm-hmm. so so goddamn bad because it's like you have to rely on strangers to work your shit. And it's like, no, <laughs> just stay with the regular ass plan. Don't mess around with. Thank God they still have it, but don't mess around it, bro. It's so stupid. It really is. It, it doesn't feel like yeah. it adds any. And you know, value. And you know what's fucked. And you know what's fucked up. Uh, like, like at that point, just get fucking Spotify. Yeah, there's so many better options. Or, or even, or even bucks. Amazon, or even fucking Amazon Music too. Yeah, like fucking Alexa. You like, dude, it's. Now, see, it, I it, use uh, Apple Music because I do own an Apple device, and I just yes. recently acquired my hands fun. on the uh, on the recently released iPhone 13 Pro Max with me. I have this thing in my hands right now, uh, since we always tend to talk about these Apple products currently right now. I think it'd be fine to bring it up. And I want to mention, right. like, if you want to invest on anything, and if you haven't had a phone in a long-ass time, like bought a new one like I have, I've been stuck with the 6S for seven generations now. <laughs> So this was yeah. a really nice investment for me. This was a really good phone to own. Um, but like, oh yeah, and the Google event is tomorrow, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, go- man, Google has a lot to you know. Oh yeah, and by against. the way, yeah, yeah. And the other thing is, they actually announced. Uh, well, the there was a target. Um, there was a target display that was leaked. Ah, that shit. This, that the Google Pixel Six will be f- six hundred bucks, and the Google Pixel Six Pro will be eight fifty. I'm curious so, to see how they're gonna actually yeah. work, um, but yeah. So oh, overall, and lots oh, of and then maybe and maybe they'll actually yeah, and also maybe they'll actually announce uh, Android 12 tomorrow, and I can't wait for that either. Because as uh, you know, as a Pixel owner, so oh, man. Yeah. we're getting yeah. very close in these numbers. Yeah, man, we got I iOS know. 15. Yeah, gonna, and now and now Terrell is into freaking gonna, buyer's remorse. Because we're gonna we're gonna reach Android 16, 17, and 18, and I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Hey, listen, Tyrone, just yeah. live long enough to see 21. Yeah, Terrell. Yeah, listen, listen. Yeah. It, was same, it was it was the same problem for me with the 5A, right? 
and I, I bought the 4 a 5G like a month before the 5A came out. J- j- just, just, just survive long mm-hmm. enough, Tyrone. We're going to get those Neko Girl virtual Samsung thingy mabobs happen when we get That's to 21. Once we get Android 18, everybody better have the set. They better all have 18 as their screen tape. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, better I, better see, I better see Samsung out here go in and make some form of collaboration with goddamn uh mangakas of dragon but, but don't but, but don't worry uh, oh god here we go here we go don't lie to me sir Fuck. i'm not let me go it's take different. a look let me go take a look i could just it's look it up right now it, it, was, it was it was it was it was posted on twitter and it was proven because it was target it was empty this pixel place. six she says please bro here we go <laughs> shown on target Google Pixel 6 128 gigabyte will be 599, whereas the Google Pixel yeah! 6 Pro will be 898. Uh, the Google 6 phones are apparently releasing on Tuesday. <laughs> Wait, tomorrow's Tuesday. That's correct. Oh, yes, you bastard. Oh, you son of a bitch. No. Oh. They're also going to have a $99 off Pixel 6 and Pixel Buds pre-order bundle tomorrow, meaning the Buds are going to basically be free (laughs) in uh, Target. We're all having an aneurysm right now. (laughs) Fuck. Let's see. It's going to be crazy affordable, good pricing. Uh, What else they got going on? Well, okay, but at least if they announce, like, Android 12 tomorrow, I'll be happy. That's why I'm... That's why I'm... If I can get away with a return, I low key am in the mindset to do something really stupid. I, 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 I. When did you buy it? That was last month, wasn't it? Didn't you make a dent on it or something? That's right. Shh, listen. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> listen, listen. Yeah. 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 Wow. You know, you know what you could have not brought up on stream? What? That I dented it on the side. Wait a minute. So you think like no? When you go, when you go to the store to buy it, they're gonna be like, oh, I watched the Pokemon. I saw it. Let me see that dent that real quick. Hold so on, sad, expose dog. that shit. Here. So sad. Dog. I want to dent that. I was gonna go to bed, and I was like, let me hear the TSS Apple rant, and then this man had the nerve to finish it talking about, oh, it was leaked. It was gonna be crazy affordable. No. And I'm mad because B and T says we're on the call when we had this conversation when I bought the fucking thing. If it's gonna probably be a high end phone, it'll probably be a thousand dollars. And I don't really want to spend that much. Eh, because the be problem fine. is the track record. The track record of Samsung is always expensive devices, but I guess they must have uh, had like black magic. I'm so I'm so mad, dog. I know, but bro, uh, yo, I'm I'm mad I'm mad too because I would if I would have waited another month, I could have got the five A. I'm yeah, curious. you both had horrible track records with getting something very late into. The- I thought I thought I was ahead of the game because I got the five A when he was like, "Fuck, I should have got the five A," and then I hear the six is like, "Oh, no, we're gonna be an affordable mid range phone with high end specs," and I'm just like, "Well, the, the problem is we don't know the exact specs." Yeah, yet. we only know that it's gonna yeah. happen. I have pre order stuff tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what's going to be in the announcement. The thing is, though, we don't have benchmarks. We don't have anything like that. Yeah, I'm going to, I'll wait, obviously, to see what the event entails. But that, that hurt me in my soul when you said that shit. <laughs> and mm-hmm. then I'm mad because Twitch said you can't rain on Apple no more. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Which is funny because I had the thing recorded and I was still hearing him rant. So it was like he never cut oh, off no, on it, my end. But no, Twitch... he never. He, no, 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 he never stopped. No, he it, just. It, it, but Twitch wasn't prepared to keep going. That was the point. That was the whole point of the thing. All right, that's enough of that shit. Cut him off. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. If 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 Apple fucks up again, I just need I need my sensei over here handling his business. He was handling his business. <laughs> Because I know we've been get, going back and forth with Journey shit. Now, if this Apple one. fucks up again, you mean right. when right. Apple fucks up again? I don't know, again. man. This Apple 13 Pro Max. That yeah, I have but on see, Tyrone, Ty- 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 there's two different tiers of getting mad at Apple. There's the common way of getting mad at Apple, and then there's mm-hmm. the technical. Then there's the technical way of getting mad at Apple. That's see, also Ty- me too. So, so Tyrone, Ty- the way you would get mad at Apple 
is all this shit. This shit is too fucking expensive. They charged well, me the twenty dollars. They yeah, charged me twenty dollars yeah. to use my phone as yeah, a phone. But, Fuck but them. When, but when TSS gets angry at Apple, it's for the whole spectrum of lackluster products on a technical level. And I live for that shit. So that, that's nothing else. I'm gonna I'm just I'm gonna clip I'm gonna take those clips Donnie did and I'm gonna just rewatch those tomorrow. While I'm Ever home. since they were like, oh, you can't fucking. Uh, I remember when they the start of the missing head uh, headphone jack situation where they did it first, and I'm like, here we go. This is gonna be some old bullshit. Uh, oh, and then, oh, and I hope this doesn't fucking start the trend of fucking notches and fucking laptops now. No, under that fuck was that. to me that was the most offensive thing, bro. Why the fuck are you putting a notch on a goddamn laptop, bro? It's 2021. Who also when the fuck have we ever had notches on laptops, bitch? You have a goddamn. Apple vessel. said we're gonna be the first <laughs> to do this. <laughs> and we're gonna the, do the thing that nobody wanted to do. Hey, listen, they gotta keep the first. Trending, continuing on. You'll never get it on any other product. Oh, fucking got Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> when you get the map from the, the late game in Ark. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Hey, look, oh, a shit. Rat Ambassador donated saying, can what? Tyrone say $2,000? $2,000? What, what are you fucking high? <laughs> there if, you if, go, we, right? if, we line, if we line it up properly, we could just be like, two months, $2,000, and have that be the new three months ago. That's yeah, fucking... and then, like, uh... Oh my god, I remember I made the scenario where the Apple guy is working at the shop and he's like high as, high as fuck right now, bro. And I understand <laughs> and, why they did the and, notch. And, and TSS is yelling at me about this fucking MacBook, man. <laughs> they're, trying to, they're trying to get rid of the bezel, but I don't feel like it was worth it. No. Especially, especially considering the bitch is $2,000. Like, it'd be a different story if you were talking about like a, if it was somewhat of a budget phone, I mean a budget laptop, then I'm like, okay, I get it. Like, who the fuck's been in two grand? And you, and you, no, I and, 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 and you basically and, and it's like you're paying two thousand dollars and it's not a pro laptop. A pro laptop it needs to have Ethernet because uh where the fuck where the fuck are techs gonna plug into fucking switches and shit. Yeah, yeah. Also also you need you also you need USB A because it's like fucking yeah, what like the I said fuck? Bruh, I saw that shit and I was like, You're joking, right? You you think you're gonna get rid of USB A? All right, bet. Bet. All right, you fucked yourself now, boy. Yeah, 1080p camera on the fucking MacBook that doesn't fucking support Face ID. That's what, weird. I don't. Yeah, when, when Windows laptops can support Hello ID on a fucking lower end system. Exactly. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> it's like, oh, touch. Well, we have Touch ID. No, dude, you fucking Bruh. made a notch, and you didn't even make it so that Face ID works. You upped the resolution of a fucking camera in the front, and you can't even fucking give you. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Fucking Face ID. It's it's like a it's like a mediocre, it's like a mid range laptop being charged at like a, a pro laptop price. Although you can get better laptops as as he has said before, I think he was cut off. You yeah. can buy gaming laptops that are better for, than that. Yeah, like for eleven hundred or twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, why the fuck would you do this? Or it's or you could buy the fucking, Apple brand. Or you just, or, would you do or, want, or if you were on the battery life, mm -hmm. just buy a fucking ThinkPad. Yeah, what the fuck? Like that e series. Yeah, it made no fucking uh, bro. What did I, they remove? I think they removed something from this new app, MacBook, didn't they? Yeah, the USB A. The USB no, a. there was something else that they removed <laughs> as well. Let me see what else. They was. removed my patience. <laughs> I'm surprised it still has an Ethernet. HDMI board. Yeah, but they did. Oh, they the removed Ethernet the touch along. bar. That's what. Hey, I didn't install my bar. patience, bro. Well, the touch. Well, the touch bar was kind of shit anyway because it broke. That one didn't bother. Yeah, that didn't bother me. My issue is the Ethernet port, and the USB A, and the weird notch you decide to keep on a fucking laptop because that's what we wanted oh but we have no face id well what the fuck what like if you're gonna if you're gonna make me sacrifice oh. for the notch at least give me face id the fuck and there's gonna be fucking people complaining when they fucking try to play like v vp9 fucking AC av1 youtube videos like why is this slow because yeah fuck apple. yeah because apple said well, fuck well, you for, for the sake of argument because i don't know if you say got the chance to say it or not how much yeah. would this how much would you actually price this at Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars. And that would be fair to you. That would be fair. Yes, I'm fine with that. Twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, twelve twelve hundred dollars would be a fair price for the for the thirty two core. Oh, not the <laughs> the other one. The other one would be a thousand. What's the other one currently? It's it's two thousand. What else? I forget the other one. The other one is twenty five hundred. 
Yeah, I didn't go with your dick on that one. What if I? But like I said, you could. But literally, you could. You could spec up a MacBook Pro right now to you like buy fucking two, almost six that six to seven thousand dollars. You could oh, buy. Geez. Yeah, you could buy. You could buy two high end gaming laptops for, for the price of this bitch. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is that is insane. That you is could actually insane. no. Well, literally, you could buy a high end gaming laptop and a fucking high end Samsung tablet and a phone, and you would still be able to fucking spend less than a lot of money. Yeah, that's that's stupid. I, I, you could get you could get an entire suite of mobile devices for the price of a fucking MacBook. Yeah, that Bro. just bummed that bummed me out, dog. The only reason why we the only reason why people and people wonder why IT don't like Apple products. They're too expensive and also uh well too expensive it's almost impossible to rep- to fix. Yeah. And also, their so the 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 obsolete products. When the fuck they want to? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh damn! All right, uh, I, I, I just I wanted to come in because I was depressed about the reality that the Pixel is going to be fucking affordable. And now I have to regret my life decisions. And uh, and secondly, uh, fuck Apple and uh, Donnie. I want all those clips of TSS ranting because I need those for tomorrow. <laughs> hey, that was so long, bro. <laughs> I, want I, it. You know what? I need that to be its own video, bro. <laughs> I, 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 I want you have it. the clips. You have the clips, KG. You I have the recording. Is when we're like, listen, it. when when Tia's just mentioned it in the messenger today, I wanted him to go into it then, but I was like, it'll ruin. The, so it, it was like he, it was he'll, like, he'll was, soften up if he just yeah, says everything. It's like, it was Christmas, and I so, I, do, I wouldn't even want to open my present early. That's what that so was. I remember several times when on the pod. I remember one time KG, I said literally broke Pokemon Journey's arm, and then I remember one time Polly did uh, made a comment and broke Journey's back. I want TSS to do one where you know that part where Raccoon breaks Gohan's neck. <laughs> Shit. I want TSS edited as Raccoon and Apple as Gohan. <laughs> I want, th- I want that, please. You just, you just want carnage. Please. Want carnage. Well, he beat the shit out of Apple. I muted it for like a second because I had to go get something and I didn't want background noise because my headphones sometimes can get so loud they echo in the background. <laughs> Cockle says so, he's on it. <laughs> so when I did it, I came back and TSS's bouncy, volume bouncy. has increased. TSS's volume increased like tenfold since then. So like, and he's talking faster. So I'm yeah, like, I don't know if it was just me, but he progressively yeah. got louder. <laughs> like, oh, that's that's it. Ironically so, enough, that was when the rare. Looked, so by the time I came back to the rain, I was like, ooh, Apple, you fucked up. That was, one, that, was one, that was one of the rare moments of TSS having a slow burning rage. Usually his shit goes from zero to 100. That was the only time I actually noticed an actual progression. No, that was 100 to 200, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he but he it was, had a gradual increase from 100 to 200. Yeah, when I came back, I was like, ooh, Apple, you fucked up somewhere. You did, you, you did messed up. That, 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 I'm just. It was good. good. I'd be, I'm very entertained. When does the shit come out anyway? I don't even remember. Uh, when, next month. Next month. They're shipping. They're shipping. They're shipping now, and then you get it like in November. Happy birthday! Oh, thank you, Donnie, for sending me. New one. Yorker goes <laughs> off on MacBook Savage. <laughs> not not clickbait. Oh, the, the, well, well, like well, no, the, like no, because, no, because no, because people think it's Lewis Rossman. But that's I'm, another thing. I might casually go on fucking YouTube and see if anyone else is how they. New Yorker it. goes off on Apple. Who the fuck is that New Yorker guy? No, 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 don't worry. That's the killer, as as we call it. Some guy came in, went off on the Apple, the, the MacBook. I don't know, boss. I'm high as fuck right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Something about an A-type USB. Listen, I, I'm going to Chick Fil A after this. <laughs> I don't, I don't have to care. He points to a Popeyes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That fucked me up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Somebody call a doctor. Sunday. <laughs> then someone starts playing that Kanye West song. I go to Chick fil A. Oh <laughs> I'm going to Chick fil A after this points at Popeyes. <laughs> Would you like oh Apple Care Plus with that? <laughs> <laughs> Take that and shove it up your oh ass. My God. That is a, that is such a shame. I'm done. 
I'm surprised. Ooh. Oh, God, that was a great end for a session. You bro. know what? I'm actually glad Apple is a terrible company. Otherwise, we wouldn't have this moment in front of us right here. <laughs> To be fair, I, they can't be that terrible because half the fucking population buys their shit. I buy them because they're fucking, fucking sheep. sheeple. Yeah, <laughs> like, like, okay, TSS. Here TSS we all are living like sheeple. Everyone's TSS, fucked up. If TSS and I can come to a firm agreement that they're sheeple without even having it, like, we didn't time that, by the way. That's not choreographed. We literally are just like, lying, they're sheep. No, I, saw the, I saw the script. <laughs> all right, yeah, all right. So at this part, we're going to call them sheeple. And KG, you still have that Popeye's joke? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, why is Ruby jumping around? Oh, I'm just playing around with the PNG tuber thing. <laughs> well, no, because he has to take a piss. That's right. <laughs> oh, God. No, okay, Terrell, to catch you up to speed, basically, uh, he's a PNG, uh, PNG tuber. Oh. So we're just having him uh, bounce around on screen, oh, as you see right here. God. He's actually responding, and that's why his mouth opens up whenever I talk, and he stays <laughs> quiet when he does it. Yeah, now, now but you have become make... a true furry. I understand. This is yeah, pretty much. Now I need, I need to, I need to make my three D. Yeah. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that Ruby cosplay. Damn it! Where is oh, it? Oh, that this would require good. money. And this I spent all of that money recently as we're talking. You know, it's funny. I hear him talking about and ranting about the Apple mm -hmm. MacBook, and then here I am with my 13 Pro Max. <laughs> Journey. <laughs> I just bought the day prior. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Journey's never Gary. have an episode because if Journey's never has episodes, that means we get more of these moments. Ke Ke Kevin, I'm just curious. How much, how much you spent on that 13? How much you spent on it? Uh, how much I spent on this thingy? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me see. About 1200 Oh, how so, much TSS said that MacBook should have been? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, in fact, you can get I this. Mean, uh, let me just roll down the window and grab your <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. oh my god. <laughs> oh. See, this is why you lock your windows, boy. To the walls. <laughs> I thought Polly was going to be the first to break it. No. Till Apple comes on my balls. No. Oh, wow. Fuck me all of them. KG, my review oh the, the B23 Pro Max. You got your fam. I'll see you in 10 years from now when I get the 23 yeah, yeah. Pro Max. Hey, listen, man. Mm. I deserve this. Last iPhone I had was a 6. All right? You shouldn't have, you shouldn't have owned the iPhone to begin with. That's the first problem. All right? Hey, this listen, man. This is before all this problem happened. You have to also, by the way, yes. in, case, in case people That's forgot. That's disease. Anyway, in, in case people forgot, KG has two phones. When he says he deserves this, he's not talking about his first phone. No, I have three home. now. What? Yeah, because I, I still have the other phone. AG is transcendent drug dealing. <laughs> <laughs> More drug dealing than by it. Wait, wait, drug so dealing and does beyond. That make, does, that make him, does that make him a crack salesman? <laughs> <laughs> now, you now I can play Pokemon Go on three phones. Yeah, right. now he's a drug dealer on now, he, has to, he has to No, he has to be like the Japanese guy. He's going to have the fucking thing spread on, his, uh, spread on his fucking arm. And he has to be on a train while he's doing it. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Gonna play Jukai three times in a row. Hey, listen, man, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> As I see everybody just glare at me. Also, speaking about gotcha games, my buddy Adam finally got me into this game. Uh, it's called Fire Emblem Heroes. It's actually pretty yeah. fun. More fun than I thought it would be. I'm All scared right. now. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. And also, and also, there was a time where the fucking logins didn't work either. Oh god! Oh, on Android devices, yeah. yeah. I should probably download Masters on this and see how this thing goes with Masters. No, oh, it's gonna run like butter on it, so. bro. I noticed when I was playing Dragalia Lost, all the load times just never showed up, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, because yeah, oh, oh, yeah. And by the way, and by the way, KG, congratulations! You have a fucking uh, an iPhone that has less that has that you can have a lot of space on it. And the fucking connector on it is USB 2.0. So if you want to get videos off of that, you'll be waiting a long fucking time. It's so like Tia's as you revel in that way too damn much. I'm not mad at you. I just want you to know that. <laughs> what about Cookie Run Kingdom? <laughs> what about Cookie Run Kingdom? The only thing I see everybody talking about Use regarding it. Cookie Run Kingdom is that woman who apparently is supposedly thick, according to the entire community. Uh... And it's a cookie. And I'm just like... You guys know what you're going nuts on about, right? Yeah? No? Okay. No. <laughs> this says the guy who who personifies himself as a fox dog thing. Hey, listen. This is the mascot, man. Okay. Yeah, okay. You keep telling yourself that. I keep saying that. It's been 10 what's years, your, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What's your favorite color? 
Actually, that's a good woman. question. I don't really know. Woman. Purple, probably. Purple. I mean, hell, I, in the other server, I have it at purple. This thing where he's like, what's your favorite color? Woman. Woman. <laughs> <laughs> woman. Woman, is woman. Color. woman should be everything. That's, that's gonna be good. Yeah, that's gonna be in your Crayola box in about five I imagine I, I imagine Tyrone. <laughs> I, I, I imagine Tyrone and Kevin. I imagine in Crayola color. I imagine Tyrone and Kevin sitting in the gonna car. gonna be white as the and sun. Tyrone's, oh, white like, as and the Tyrone's sun. like, so what do you want to go eat for dinner? And he's like, I'm not gay. And he's like, Did I ask? <laughs> Oh, Goggles did it. He made Raccoon, uh, TSS kicking Apple and breaking its neck. Wait, when is KG oh. coming out as a feudy? What the hell is a feudy? Don't worry about that. That's a, Oh, wow, that's... you're sexually attracted to fruit? I didn't know. Ah, oh, shit. This this pear oh, looking man. thing here. I like pears. <laughs> Got the curve. Now this world shot no despair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> despair. Sephiroth. Sephiroth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like I was like, is that the reference? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Don't ask me or my son about it again. But Sephiroth, don't just shut up. Despair. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I would rather get despair than Apple. Ooh. Tons. No, that's, why, that's, why, that's why people used pair PC. Tons, baby. <laughs> we yeah, have them. Got them. This, this is what happens when we don't have wait, parody. Wait, so wait, cool. wait, wait. Apple left the party. Apple, come back. Oh no! Oh god! This reminds me of that thing when Terrell. I know you don't watch Fresh and Fade anymore, but uh, you know. Yeah, I know. But it just reminds me of that thing where he's like, if you want to get girls, you have to get an uh, an iPhone. Like, you have to. Oh, like, oh, oh joke. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm those, like, it's, those, are people, those are the people buying the MacBook Pros now. But, <laughs> but, then, but then I'm like... <laughs> but then I'm like... <laughs> give, give yourself a second, Tyrone. But then I'm like... Gone. Then I'm like, it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense why that's the case that you have to buy uh, an apple in order to get a girl. Because only in that situation would you ruin your life in order to get something that's not worth it. <laughs> no, you missed the main joke. Oh, yeah. Women are yeah. stupid. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn, Terrell. Oh, I, I wouldn't go go that far. We have female audience. Jesus. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean they're stupid. The women <laughs> with the apples are stupid. Not y'all. Y'all the good stupid. <laughs> Hey, we fuck with that stupid. How dumb that's, that, that's that go stupid, stupid. No, oh, it's <laughs> different stupid. Mm. Oh my god, this is what happens when there's no journeys episodes. We just fucking make the journey starts today. We become hilarious. <laughs> yeah, more boy. people, like, more, also, also more, more things for the tacos. Yeah. Is Kevin gonna eat the taco yet? We're only at 86 to 7% on that that's thing. Not, that's not what I Why'd asked. Why'd you make the standard so high, KG? I wasn't trying to, to, bro. He wasn't. He doesn't want to do I it. I added an extra zero at the end. Oh, you, <laughs> <laughs> you had the power to change the No, no, no. I tried to change it. They don't give me the option, man. Uh -huh, they on. really don't. You could try it yourself, Tyron. You really can't change it. I, I, I think you I think you saw the danger of the situation and added another <laughs> zero. Oh, yeah. Donnie brought up a good point. Don't forget to talk about the sleep stream before it's too late. Yeah, we need to talk about that. Tyrone, you're joining sleeps. What? Yeah. So, okay. Oh, yeah. Terrell, you were, I think, the one who talked about it first. So, you might have a better way of... Uh... So last night, we were on... Uh, I did a stream because the weekend was kind of weird for me. And I think, I don't know how it came up in conversation, but we had the conversation of doing a sleep stream. Now, a sleep stream, realistically, is exactly what it sounds like. You just go to sleep and leave the stream running. That's literally it. Like, I think KG try, almost tried to overcomplicate it, but having us try to talk and shit. But when you look it up, it literally is just a stream where a person goes to sleep. But, like, I think people can donate a certain amount of money to have alarms play that would wake you up from the sleep. And I'm like, that actually doesn't sound like a terrible idea. I, 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 <laughs> It'll be hilarious if all four or five of us wake up at the same time on stream. Like, Everybody, like, freaks the fuck it? out. I'm 
the worst part, the, f- the funniest part. I'm a sleeper. A bat fart can wake me up. Like, <laughs> no, I think the I think the funniest thing would be would be though, is us going to sleep and waking up and be like, what time is it? And Tyrone's like four, and I'm like, and he's like, no, it's fucking six. I'm like, well, which is it? Wrong time zone. God damn it. Mm. Only an hour time difference. But if we did it, it would have to be like a Friday night because if we, because if, realistically, it has to be a night where we can go to sleep, leave yeah. a stream on, and wake up <laughs> like at any time, which is usually a Saturday morning. So, yeah, yeah okay. those are the those are the people that will be buying the new MacBook Pro. And we gotta we gotta lead up to it. That means we'll probably have a stream where we're just talking a bunch of bullshit like we normally do on Friday nights when we're not streaming. And then it'll lead into it. And KG, you can't make the excuse. Oh, I'm gonna go to bed now and just leave when you're secretly under Gall. You lost. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he fucking hoed you. You know it's the truth. <laughs> he Listen, man. You. Just because it's the bad. truth doesn't mean you have to come out and say it. <laughs> he, he hoed you so bad on that one too. That's what made it funny. He loves his dragon guys. Well, Listen, see, I love be... my dragon girls, my ship girls, now the Fire Emblem girls, Listen, and now it's the Genshin we... girls. It's too Listen, many if girls. We do it, if we do it on a normal Friday, it kind of works out anyway because TSS would finish his Persona stream. Yeah. We would dick around online waiting for Tyrone to finish his shit. And then Tyrone would show up at like 2 o'clock. And then we'd probably dick around for 2 hours and then go to bed. Yeah, I remember how it all goes down too. So like... I remember one time, yeah, KG said, I'm going to bed. And then I was like, I'm going to bed, too. We were all headed off. And then I found something on Twitter, and I sent it to him. And, like, he started laughing at it. He reacted to it. And I'm like, wait a minute. The only way he can react to this is he was never asleep in the first fucking Yeah, because I got a beep boop from you. <laughs> and I was going to go to sleep. It's your fault, though. Uh-oh, uh, I'm now starting to realize that the uh, that the stream's starting to cut off again. I think this would be a good time to wrap it up. Yeah, we need to end it. Yeah, we need to end okay, it. Okay, yeah, I'll answer this last question. Who's your favorite male character in Dragalia Lost? Uh, that would probably go to Victor. really like his character. I'll tell you that right there. Victor. Favorite oh, female, like- though? I mean, my girl, Mim. But if I had to choose somebody else... Uh... At the top of my head, I probably give it to my girl Nefaria. So, hmm. yeah, that there you go. That's my answer. Okay. You can look it up yourself if you like to when you get a chance. Also, I probably forgot to uh, <laughs> to turn off the villager noises. I probably should have turned that shit off. Like, oh yeah, Nickelodeon All Stars came out and nobody cared. Who? Exactly. I mean, some people. Nobody cared. Some people care, but it wasn't that big of a deal. No, no mm-hmm. nobody cared. I care about the Garfield. No, you don't. Nobody cared. No, just the Garfield, not the game itself. I just want to see the Garfield trailer. <laughs> when Garfield shows, can they play the Live and Learn theme? Yeah. <laughs> live and Learn. It was number two on uh, Nickelodeon. Though. When Nickelodeon has spe- has uh, wave dashing, that's yeah, that's cool. Truly. No, I want I want Garfield to show up in every reveal trailer. Like you know the one where Sephiroth cuts Galeem in half. <laughs> but replace it with Garfield. And you said, what's Garfield's owner's name? What's the damn? What's his name? Ah Somebody shit! No, that, that's Odie. No, 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 not Odie. Uh, no, no, Otis is the dog. Odie, yeah, Odie's the dog. We have uh, Arbuckle. John, uh, John, John Arbuck. Yeah, yeah, John. John Arbuck. Ar- yeah, John shows up Arbuck. on Cloud's face and goes. Got a few dogs. You have to, you have to, you have to, the, 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 uh, the, the, the bad, the bad Arbuckle dancing. God, I love this that. image here. Like- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Well, I don't like the fact that the TSS is represented by a spiky hair pink dude. <laughs> Why is Apple <laughs> green? Bro, he broke Apple's neck. <laughs> oh God! There's even an alternative where they just smash right through the goddamn chest too. Oh my God! I love Jesus this. This Christ. has been one you of the best. You guys in the po- community are amazing. L- 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 this is one of one of the best Poke Pod streams ever. And one of the most messed up too, because we had so many technical issues with goddamn out. <laughs> <laughs> Her out here in the game, Gaga as well. He did his own variation too. I love it. It's just in the stream, bro. In the stream. All right, everybody. We're going to go and wrap things up for tonight. I hope everybody had a good old time tonight. If you did, please let us know. 
by uh, you know oh tweeting God. at us on Twitter uh, over at KG Prestige. Make sure to follow everybody else here oh. in this call as well, and uh, make sure to follow them on their respective Twitch too, because we're going to be having a fun time around this entire week. Uh, from from what we did with the Pokepot to more Black and White Two, Smash Brothers. Oh. A sword and shield, amongst many other things here, at least on this channel. We'll keep you guys updated with the sleep stream. Let that be clear. We will probably do that. We'll just have to wait and see and find out in regards to that bitty bit. So, we'll keep you guys up to date when that time comes. In the meantime, though, make sure to enjoy all of the other shenanigans we got on store. So, tomorrow, Tyrone, we're going to be doing, I assume, more Smash of the Brothers, as usual. Smash Brothers, yeah. Because to doing celebrate a Sora's thing, thing, you know, might as well celebrate yeah. it big. Yeah, we, we got the preview uh, today with my stream with, like, a little warm-up. Because I normally don't stream on Mondays. But I was like, fuck it. We'll do it two hours before the pod. And then uh, that'll be warm-ups for tomorrow. We got to play with Sora a little bit for, like, ten minutes. Uh, so now is the is the real deal. We got Sora. We're in. Let, let's let's all have fun. Let's smash, brothers. Let's smash, brothers. Yes. Plus, so. we're warming up for a competition any damn way, so it's perfect. All righty. So there you go, chat. Make sure to look forward to it tomorrow, both on my and Tyrone channel. Uh, what else we got? Wednesday. Everybody got their own respective thing. Terrell, what you doing on Wednesday? We're doing make our three where I regret my actions. All right, there you go. Tyrone, what about you? On Wednesday, um, da, 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 I think we may finally do that damn Five Nights at Freddy's. It's October. We, we, need to, we need to get that done. Yeah, people keep pestering about Left 4 Dead, actually, as well. Yeah, we, we, we need to get on that, too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Halloween. We need to start doing our Halloween shit. Yeah, at tw tw at 20 days into the goddamn month. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. All right, just making sure. Uh, anything else I'm forgetting off the top of my head? Uh... Oh, oh sad, sad thing. Apparently, they charge $19 for an apple polishing cloth. Let's keep that in mind. What the mm -hmm. So if you want to polish your apple <clears throat> products, you got to spend almost $20. To $20? $20? Yeah, you guys. You got it's almost for 15 it to get that. You don't know. I'm not giving you the little bit. Oh, okay. Never mind. I'll invest in something else then. I'm going to Popeye's walks to churches. <laughs> I'm going to Popeye's goes Sir, to this is a back on Sunday. Sir, this is a Bojangles leave. <laughs> well, after Sir, getting our is, chicken, of course. <laughs> Sir, this is an Arby's and we don't have the meat. Ugh, why am I at Arby's? Why why'd you put me in a hypothetical situation where I'm at Arby's? Because you want the Kevin. meats. In the uh, screen, Kevin. All right. Also, <clears throat> also uh, TSS, what are you Friday doing on night? Friday? Friday we're doing uh, Persona Three Fest Undub Part Twenty. Uh, we're gonna get sessions. we're gonna Holy yeah twenty yeah it's gonna be the twentieth part, and uh, we get to see what's happening in the month of September in the game. So let's take a look. How are you in? I'm curious. Uh, fifty three, fifty two okay. hours. So you're about half of what I am. That makes sense. Because yeah. he's better than you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> And then on and then on Saturday, Yakuza Kiwami with the classic music mod. That means we have all the, the original songs from the PS2 version. And that means we get to hear Don Quixote and all that stuff. Uh, we're at Chapter 5 now. And I'm like, wow, that, that, that thing. Also, there's some clips on my channel where I accidentally like, run into Haruka and freaking like, drop her onto the floor and I lose my shit. <laughs> um, like, and some other things too, but yeah, check check that out. TSS underscore killer on Twitch. Alrighty, so there you go, chat. We got a bunch of shenanigans happening later down the road. Hope you guys are looking forward to it this week. It's going to be a fun-filled week of many games, many <clears throat> reactions, many shenanigans, and no sleep streams just yet. We'll get to that idea in the distant future. In the meantime, though, uh, we hope you guys, as always, you know, make sure to keep yourself safe. TSS, what's the magical word? Wash your fucking hands. Thank you, buddy. And as always, do us a solid and have yourself Thank an you, awesome Donnie. day. Uh, and, of course, you know, let me know how you guys think about this cute little PNG thing. Apparently, we have so many different features we could play around with this. So, I'll definitely continue to play around with this as we're doing more streams throughout the week. So, if you guys enjoy this, do let me know. It's a nice little simplistic thing, but I feel it adds some extra layers to the overall uh, experience. If I never oh, use my camera whenever I don't want to. So, there you go. Mm. 
All right, buddy. Hey, it's hey. game. Hey. Why are you saying gamers hey. for, buddy? <laughs> How you doing, Kay? Had your stream of a uh, swoosh go? Wait, actually, swoosh. was it today? I think it was. I today. believe she yeah. she lost some minds, if I'm not mistaken, because she made the funny uh, picture of the tombstone. Yeah, I recall I something about tweet. a tweet saying like they robbed Leon or something. <laughs> but I didn't yeah, here, to yeah, it. here lies Leon. Oh, okay. So so canonically K killed Leon. All right, there we go. I just love the picture where it says I'm good at graphics and uh, graphics. <laughs> oh, you won. Good. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> uh, congratulations. You won a you free won. iPod nano. I'm gonna just go back and watch that stream and make sure KG is still alive and kicking. If he's not, uh, we're gonna have words. 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 Oh. But in the meantime, though, I think that's a perfect opportunity for us to go and wrap up the night. What do you guys say? Yeah. You are. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm alive, you guys. Are, I lived. I am, <laughs> you are. You are. I am. I am. Yeah. All right. Then everybody, Good once reference. again, please do us a solid. Take care of yourselves. And as always, make sure to have an awesome day. For now, we're going night night. Bye, everybody. Clap on, clap off the clapper. Ah, my hand. <laughs>